do it all uh, right now. Evening, ladies. Oh, wow, Jim. What's up, man? Oh, how's it going? Oh, it's going, man. What, what What do you think about what you've heard thus far? I think you need to have a few more drinks there, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty well drunk as it is right now, but yeah, you're right. I need to come. I mean, I, I think there are, yeah, there are a few cops in Georgia or Tennessee. Where the fuck <laughs> are they? Need a, I need a black eye tonight. So, yeah. <laughs> Look at that shit up. Run to a 7-Eleven. Start some shit. Let's let's yeah. not do that. Shall maybe we? I need to go chill on another hotel couch. I mean, <laughs> hey, you need to show Ice Poseidon how that shit's done. <laughs> what do you think about uh, Jay Dyer and Andy and just Andy's situation, I guess? I don't know what the fuck's going on. They've been streaming together for like, a, what, a month? Yeah. I, like um, I, I I guess Andy wants to do Purple Dragon stuff, or I... yeah, that's literally what I said. It's like they did, they stream for a month, and it's two streams a week, so it's not the sample size is very small. And if you have only a couple bad shows, it seemed like to me. And I told him, I told Andy straight up that as soon as it, the first two streams didn't do well, that he jumped ship. Well, I mean, shit, you know, <laughs> Andy's social blade looks like a menstruating girl. It's like a set of <laughs> fucking carry. I don't know if he should be doing game and stream. <laughs> <laughs> Gaming streams, they're not easy to get into. It's a, it's a very saturated thing. And I don't know if his... Uh, the, the last thing I want to ask him is uh, um, about what his audience... What he thinks his audience wants, especially chat was asking me to ask that, too. Well, it's that chasing the dragon shit. If you run after the numbers, nobody's going to watch you. You're yes. trying to fucking appeal to everybody. Nobody wants yeah. to watch that. Um, yeah, no, you're right, 100%. Um, it's just weird that... Um, we, we, it's just happened a month and a half ago, and it's basically, again, same thing. I I don't I don't know what to tell him. I mean, he he was doing really well when he started. I mean, kind of right after the crowd thing, he was pulling in pretty sizable numbers. Um, it just kind of has gone to shit since then. I mean, with the split with Jay off, and then he kind of recovered a little bit, uh, hooked up with Jay, and then it kind of went to shit again. What would be your advice for him in the future? <laughs> uh, well, I yeah, you know it. <laughs> Uh, I like Andy and all, but uh, he kind of made it. He kind of made his bet. I don't know if he can unmake it at this point, can he? I mean, how do you bounce back from that? Uh, I, I wish he was still here. I'd love to ask him some questions, but um, I mean, you I know what? I, how about this? I can. I mean, I can send him the link if 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 he'll show back up. But uh, yeah, yeah, try it. Send I mean, we'll, him. we'll see. Much. We'll see if he can. worth a shot, right? Yeah, it seems like there's uh, there's shit going on everywhere. Uh, I I caught a little bit of the JF stuff last night. Uh, so what's what's the story with JF? What's he's got his chats in revolt or something? Seems um, that way. So what JF did basically, and JF's kind of always been like this, you know, banning people who um, I don't know if you want to say disagree or disagree violently or you know say mean things or nasty things to him. So he kind of he basically he curates his chat, and if you see our chat, we don't we don't really do much curation. The one thing we do curate if somebody's doxing. So we'll how try. diplomatic? When you say curate, it makes me feel like you're being diplomatic with this. <laughs> what exactly are we talking about when you're when you're He's saying curate? A lot of motherfuckers from his chat would be would be the well that would that would seem to be a disastrous decision. Yeah. Um, yeah well, I mean, I, I thought the same thing. So what what is the what's the impetus of this? What's the reason for him banning all these people? Okay, so Lauren Rose is um That's the uh, uh, new chick co host, right? Yes, that's correct. Yeah. And so there's a guy named Patrick Little and he ran for Senate in California. Uh <laughs> And he is basically an anti-Zionist. Let me let me let me guess. Did he lose? Yes, he lost. He lost very bigly. Um, no, I'm just I, I I'm joshing with you a little bit. No, I, he took one and a half percent of the vote, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah something about, like that. You know, yes. and people like to shit on for that, but I'd like to remind you that this man is basically going around saying gas the kites, and he still got <laughs> one and a half. He still got one and a half percent in California. Yeah, right. That's like that's like forty percent in any other fucking state. He got a one and a half percent. <laughs> In California, the land of soy and blue hair. I don't know how the fuck he pulled that off, but I think that's kind of impressive, really, to be honest. Yeah. Huh? Um, and he had no like, no institutional support or like you know rich donors or anything. What? To are, are you telling no institutional support for saying <laughs> gas to Jews? What? <laughs> I know it's shocking, but oh, listen to SoundCloud. It's the hand he was dealt. Uh, but, yeah. but no, I, I yeah, it was a grassroots movement, right? I, from yeah. what I understand, he was kind of out there doing it on his own, right? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah he, yeah, he pretty much built it all, and so I guess he went on Jeff's show. 
I don't know if he went once or twice, but definitely once. And he was a featured guest. And then, so after he lost, Lauren Rose came out and said, uh, you know, I have to go back and look up her tweet. But basically called him a loser and said, you know, some people were saying, why don't I go at him harder? But usually I don't waste my time on losers. Oh, wait, actually, I have the tweet. Thank you. Google Chrome and your uh, George Orwell type history. So why, why does she uh, dislike him so she much? She said, perhaps I went a bit easy on Patrick Little, but it's because I normally don't care to waste my time on losers. Uh, that oh, was her, Kitty's uh, got claws. Yeah, you know, that was her quote. Uh, of course, JF said he only has, you know, professional talkers and, uh, you know, heavy. Yeah, no, I, I caught that last night. What the yeah. fuck does that even mean? <laughs> I don't know. What is, that, what is no an amateur? Define an amateur talker. Are we talking like Down syndrome? <laughs> like, what the fuck is that? I don't uh, know. He, he only has the professionals on his show, apparently. But, uh, um, but yeah. Uh, so that was her quote, and then some other people went at her. Richard Spencer kind of went at her. Other people as well, and just like kind of like, well, you're just some 19 year old thought. You know, you haven't done anything. How, how dare you call somebody a loser? Basically. So okay, I mean, so his co-host talks some shit, and Chad talks shit back to her. I'm guessing. So what? What it was the big deal then? Like, what did he start banning people because they were shit talking her, or what? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, now, now he, he would say that he has certain reasons for banning certain people that um, they made the comments sexualized or they made them personalized in such a way that they should not be allowed in his chat. And so that 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 was why he banned them. Uh, yeah, where is JF? Bring him on because so I want to have a talk with JF. JF. What is the fuck is sh- doing? JF actually, is JF in the is, chat right now. He, he said he couldn't come on earlier. Um, he actually we, just said something too in the chat. He said an amateur, amateur talker equals Andy, for instance. That's JF. Oh, fucking. Well. Oh, shooting, shooting the shit tonight. No, I, I, I guess I'd ask JF this. I mean, this kind of feels what, like what happened oh. with Baked. I mean, Baked brought a chicken. And the chick kind of split him off from his audience, and it devolved into a shit show. And I'm not saying it's on that scale, but... Well, I would uh, say it's similar, to be honest. And by the way, uh, yeah, you, know what, women... Jim, you know what, Jim? You kind of have a yeah. way of bringing people to the to the arena because JF earlier said he's busy. He can't come on. He just, like, he can't find the time to come on. But but after you said what you just said, he, he said, okay, I'll come on. Awesome. Great. Throw him the hangout link. Because I, I... Okay. That's not that's not JF. <laughs> that's not JF. That's Andy. Ooh, what's up, guys? Fuck yeah! What are we even yeah, doing yeah. tonight? All right, look. I'm, you know what? I have to step now. away from the mic for like three minutes. Ralph is or running for cover. Nice. No, I'm, not, I'm not running. I just have to take a piss because I've drank half a bottle of tequila. And, oh no! <laughs> uh, I will send JF the link right when I, I come back. And okay, uh, I mean, try, why try not I just to get blast any cops on your way to the tournament. <laughs> so, so, geez, JF, I. I sent you the link on Discord already. If you check your Discord DMs, you, the link's in there too. So if you want to jump on, it's fine. Um, so Andy, what's up, man? So what, like, where? I guess where are you taking it? Because like, I, I get it. After you and JF split, you were gonna, I guess, regroup and do like your own show shit, and you got together Ooh. with Jay. So like, are, are you gonna just step away from that kind of format altogether? Like, what are you doing? Or no, what are you no, gonna do like, with your channel? Like when I, uh, when I did the stream alone. Uh, after the stream we did with Jay, uh, Jay Dyer on, on Wednesday, it just felt good. Like the audience liked it, uh, a lot more support, a lot more viewers and stuff. And it went well. So that's where I think I'm going to take it for now. I'm not going to try and force a co-host or anything. I'm just going to fucking just, you know, fucking uh, try and just do what I do good, uh, best instead of trying to like force a co-host, force a topic, just yeah oh holy shit yeah. jf just joined jf you should have just heard what andy said he said you're a fucking faggot i'm glad I that you just jumped that. in <laughs> that was a quote verbatim by the way. <laughs> I, I, did not say that. <laughs> I don't think you did no you must have missed it right when you were joining it so one of those technical issues <laughs> <laughs> what's up guys so jf what can you explain like I, I i got a brief summary from elf so like what's been going on the last couple of days your <laughs> chat's been revolting against uh it's lauren rose is her name yeah, I mean, there was a minority part of the population that was, like, willing to insult me and Lauren. And it's not just Lauren, it's just I've been growing my audience enormously, and it didn't feel like uh, like it used to feel, which is people on my Discord, we used to have huge uh, intellectual conversations. And I want to recreate that that community where you don't get called a Jew, just because you have an opinion or 
<laughs> so I just banned a few extremists from my channel because their comments were not bringing anything to the discussion. Oh, no, aren't you? Like, Because, I mean, it is kind of eerily similar. And I'm not saying Lauren's like Aaron was, but, I mean, it is kind of eerily similar to what happened with Bake, man. I mean, he brought a chick in. She pissed off the audience, and then it, it was like a fucking full-on revolt after a while. So I got a phone call. Yeah, Andy, Adam, what's going on in the background? You're, you're like, I you no, no, sorry. Like, my girlfriend called me. Bing, bing, wahoo, and, yippee. Uh, that's what's going on. It's going crazy. <laughs> like, I heard, like, Japanese. I don't even know what's going on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. I got a phone call, and it just fucks everything up. So, yes. my bad. Okay. Okay, yes. <laughs> what is this? Are you watching Saturday morning cartoons? No, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Stay right here, guys. Stay right here. Stay right here. Hello? Or is Hi, it <laughs> I don't even know where this is coming from at this point. Like, this is a fucking mess. <laughs> Let me try this. I muted Andy. Okay. okay. Is it still there? I'd I th I, JF, are you watching Saturday morning? What is, <laughs> what is happening? Anyway, um, so JF, I mean, you know, to take the, uh, you know, devil's advocate position, a lot of people have said that it was not just, you know, random trolls and stuff you're banning. Apparently you banned some of your okay, mods. Okay, does that work now? Yeah, yeah, yeah you, sound better. you sound better now. Uh, right, but apparently sorry. that you banned some of your mods and you banned some key individuals in your chat, some people that had donated a lot of money to you. What, what do you say about that? Well, I mean, it just turns out that there was two of these people I banned who were super chatters. And as I said to them, I'm, I'm glad I, I'm I'm not glad to see you go, but you have to go because I'm doing a new show and I have trolls sending harassment to me. I don't have to expose myself to this. I just chose to uh, separate myself from these two people. There was also two mods. Now the problem with these mods is that they didn't respect my authority. They were unbanning the two guys. <laughs> so I banned the mod too. And we have a new teams of mods and they're doing amazing. By the way, JF, I actually think that's you, man. Are you in an arcade? Like what? what is going on right now? Like. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I I have a computer game open. Maybe you're <laughs> hearing the music. <laughs> that's it. Like, I don't know yeah, what it is. That's it. I, I can actually hear it. I, I don't know if you're playing Street Fighter or what, or what's going on right now. But uh, yeah, yeah, we we can He's hear. He's playing it. Overwatch right now. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> this is crazy. I thought it was Andy. Andy, I blamed no. you, but it. No, yeah, I, I, I blamed him too. Right now. Yeah, <laughs> but it, it actually wasn't. Yeah. Okay. Now, it's time for Torbjorn. Yes. Would go. you would you would you go officially on record with me and say that women fucking ruin everything they touch? Yes. Because yes, I would. I I, I, Jeff, oh, I feel like your show is, is great. You do your own thing, but just be wary of women, man, because they come in and they fuck it into the dirt every time they get their hands on something a guy creates. So I closed my browser windows. Is it uh, improved? It seems yeah. better. No? Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay, okay, so sorry about that. Yeah, but you're telling me you don't respect women? It, it did seem better. No, I, mean, no, I, known... I, don't, I don't respect the women. I think that they fuck up anything <laughs> a guy can <laughs> no, I mean, women are different things to deal with. They are... See, that's the right mindset. Beings. Yeah, they are things. That's how we should treat yeah. them. <laughs> they are physical objects that differ from other physical objects. Now, I chose that I was working with a woman. I want the challenge of handling this explosive material, and I have. Uh, I'm making plenty of money. There's no reason for me to be worried about my future, so uh, I'm cha I'm taking the challenge, and it's especially a challenge in the alt right. I mean, <laughs> these guys hate women, <laughs> but I don't care. I'm gonna trigger them, and if they show up uh, behaviors that I don't like, I'm gonna ban them. And uh, I'm moving on with my future. I'm very happy. I mean, I look at tonight's show. It was good enough. And it was... Uh, so I seem to have survived this wave of hate, which was really coming from a minority. By the way, I can still hear whatever... Yeah, yes. Yeah, like, yeah, your game is still going on. Whatever <laughs> battle cartoon. you have going on in the background, like, it's... Like, I'm not even joking. Like, it's... Yeah, just turn on, turn on the volume. I think it's getting caught into your headphones. Yeah, um, something's going on. But anyway, so, go ahead, Zidane. How about now? Sounds better now. Yeah. Uh, okay. Let me ask you. You said you want it. You want to do it as a challenge, uh, but if you just ban everyone that's challenging you, is it really a challenge? No, I mean I'm willing to take any uh, discussion with someone who makes sense. But if someone comes on the chat and says, "Jeff, you're fat. Lauren, you're a tot. What what <laughs> what is the challenge there? 
to change your mind of it to make it okay, seem so, to, so, to, so to, what will change my mind in a guy telling me yours, that i'm fat not yours to change their mind on her right if she if she comes out and says some uh, intellectual things and has a good points and stuff like that people will change their mind correct but if you ban them straight up then you're not really doing anything you're just banning you know it's not a challenge it's just like a, a cocoon of of your own um hug box basically I right. don't think so. I, I don't think that I have a responsibility to educate the but sewers of this world. And I've understood something as a teacher in universities. There are people you can save. And if you don't leave them behind, you won't be able to educate those who are truly interested. So why say you want you want the challenge of just like you want to say what you want to say? Because it's not a challenge. No, I want the challenge to produce a good show with a woman. That's the challenge I want. Not a good show for all of the trolls, a good show, period. Now, I, I guess my counter to that would be, I mean, you're talking about growth or metrics and growing your show and creating something good that has a bigger outreach, but, uh, you know, if, if you're banning people, even the ones that are shit-talking, those usually are the ones that are invested in watching and spreading awareness, whether it be negative or positive. I mean, that's kind of what brings an influx of new viewers in. Hey, come check this out. Oh, this guy makes good points. Or, hey, come check this out. Uh, this guy's a faggot. I mean, either one of those, but it still yes. brings people in. So, I mean, if you start separating them off and slicing them away, you you kind of whittle it down until you've got a core demographic. But then, where do you expand from there? Uh, I agree with your reading and the the strategy, like talking me in bad or talking me in good. That's essentially what we've done with Andy, and we've maxed the metrics, and we had <laughs> an amazing success. I'm very proud of what we did. But where I'm, go uh, I'm like Dr. Emmett Brown, who says. Where we're going, we don't need roads. And where I'm going, I don't need trolls. <laughs> okay, well, I just, I'm just going to throw it out once. Just uh, have a can of Thought Be Gone <laughs> in case shit goes south, man. And have like a, a good male co-host lined up for a replacement. I, mean, I, hear, I, hear, I hear Jay Dyer's free if you're interested. <laughs> Your tip is on the record, and so if in two years I'm homeless, we can say Mr. Mithaker was right. But as far as I'm concerned, I'm, I stand by my decision, and we only did 51 shows. And so we have to let time and, and do maybe 100 or 300 and see how it goes. I believe that my choice is the right one. No, no, Andy, this, uh, this is oh, like I... two diametrically opposed positions, right? I mean, Jim, you don't have, you don't even have moderators in your chat. I mean, just let. No, know. well, I mean, I've always been of the opinion that you know, having no moderation and just letting people say whatever the fuck is half of the fun of a stream. At least that's yes. half the fun I've had watching people. And I get everybody runs their shit differently, but yeah, from my personal viewpoint, yeah, I don't, I don't ban, block, uh, you know, censor any of that shit. And I don't have mods and stuff. But I was going to ask Andy, you know. Uh, some people were bringing up earlier in the stream. Have you given any consideration having Sticks as like a, a separate co-host, or are you going to do it just solo? Or are you kind of dedicated to that? Well, I think uh, for now I'm just going to do it solo for now. But Sticks has, you know, uh, has asked like has said out loud on Twitter like, "Yo, I'd be down to co-host." And like I, like I think what I want to do is make it naturally happen, rather than be like, "Okay, now we're going to do you know this day, this day, this day." And you, like you know what I mean, uh, I'll have him on, and if things flow naturally, and then it just falls into place, I'm down for that. You know what I mean? Because uh, I think me trying to force something isn't working right now. You know what I mean? It's just making me more anxious, and I'm trying to like overthink things and shit. And uh, me do doing that stream by myself the other day went very well. People enjoyed it, and. Let's say it sticks jumped on a bunch of times and it just naturally flowed that, yo, this is making sense. All right, cool. This is awesome. Oh, let's do this. Uh, so, yeah. So I've been drinking all fucking night. My God. Oh, that's fine. You're, you're I, a mother. I, like, I, 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 <laughs> I, hear, I, hear, I hear my slur right now in the middle of the streets of fucking Toronto right now. <laughs> just <laughs> Wait, you're drunk and wandering Toronto on a live <laughs> no, stream? No, I'm waiting for an Uber. I'm waiting for an Uber. I'm going to have to apologize. I'm gonna be like, hey, I can hear the cars passing right by, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah, no, like, I think I've been just overthinking it, and it's making me anxious. Uh, I just want to make it naturally flow. And let's say if Styx uh, joins me a bunch of times and it works, fucking awesome, but I'm not going to force anything right now. 
Yeah, I got, I got you. Yeah, but uh, Jay was saying you you're really into the the metrics thing, man. I, that that's gonna fuck your head up if you're reading Social Blade every day. No, no, it's not. It's not just that. It was the um, the comments. It's not even like you know random trolls. Like I unbanned literally everyone. It took an hour and a half. It was fucking like intense. But uh, there are people who are are criticizing the show who aren't just like random trolls. These are, are people I recognize. And who have been supporting me for a long time and be like, Andy, like, what is this? Like, this, this is not working. And then when I did the show alone, they're like, yeah, all right, this is what I want to see. And these are people that I recognize. It's not just like random fucking trolls. You know what I mean? So um, uh, I'm, I'm doing like for the people who are actually watching. As per the analytics, uh, I know I'm, I'm, it's hurting right now. Wait, Hang on, is this the fucking Uber? Hang on, hang on, one sec, guys. After see if this is my fucking. We're, we're gonna hear a fucking headline yeah, tomorrow. What a drunk Toronto. Yeah, uh, this is my Uber. This is my Uber. In the street. Hey, 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 <laughs> hey, hey, dude. Hey, uh, Uber. Yeah. yeah Andy, are we on speaker? Yeah. Hey, so I'm on Gas the kites. Oh, race for right. now. <laughs> Fuck Uber. I've got a bomb. I have a bomb in my pocket. No, You're no, going to die no, today, a, sir. I'm not on speaker for. I'm not on New super phone. chat from Real Horror 1488. I'm sorry. Uh, okay. Oh, these guys are trying to like uh, screw with me, and they're saying, just screaming out like, "I have a bomb like, to make you scared." Yeah, I'm, I'm actually live right now with a, a bunch of people watching right now. So I apologize. I, I hope I don't bug you. <laughs> All right, cool. Thanks, man. I appreciate yeah. it. He's cool. He's cool. Uber's cool. <laughs> I'm glad he's cool because you got a lot of cocaine on you. And if he finds out, he has, no, he has, no, he's gonna have to die. I finished, it. I finished it, Medicare. What are you talking about? <laughs> okay, it's like 14 kilos up your ass. That guy is a dead man if he finds it. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> but yeah, I'm. I'm just. I'm not. I'm trying to not to overthink it and just trying to do it. Like naturally, just you know what I mean. No, I gotcha. Yeah, yeah. I, like I, I've been kind of tuned out of this shit. I've been following the SCP stuff. So, by the way, we would like to talk about that, but uh, let me be a uh, complete Jew and uh, read these super chats. How about that? Uh, ben Germa says, "Andy, maybe it's time to peacefully sunset yourself, or you know, get a job." And then somebody else talk about me. Uh, Joey's so, freaking ruin everything. Somebody else did a super chat and they actually deleted it, so I don't know what it says. Politically Correct says, I'm part of the audience and you guys are dis disingenuous as hell to Sargon. It's fun to pile on him, but he shines light on bad things more than anyone here. Sargon Ooh. is better than any of us. All right. Uh, Mike Hunt. <laughs> yeah. I, hey, I wait, Little Pod's part of my team. Okay, he's bad. By the way, Gator. Gator. Jesus Christ. Sorry, I had to meet you again because your microphone. I don't know what it is about your microphone, dude, but you need a new microphone. I, I don't know what to say, but it's it's getting to that level. Mike Hunt says, "Yo, yo, sorry about that. Sorry about that." No, it wasn't. It wasn't you. It's Gator. It's the electrical. Oh, oh my oh, electrical my system in my house is garbage. Ah, it's I something about your microphone, dude. Anyway, uh, Mike Hunt says, "Failure slash Chris watching videos live twice a week." Polly Prissy Pants says, show idea, Terry Davis, Worski, and Corinne hunt for glow-in-the-dark iPad thieves. <laughs> uh, Ziggy Algato says, he's writing essays before cleaning, Jim. Rashad Abdul Salam says, best idea, Andy resurrects Kraut as co-host. I'm not sure that's a good idea. To <laughs> Imagine. Yeah, I'm not sure that's a good idea. Billy Senpai Gaming says, I'm beginning to think Andy should have a little tally mark system on the wall of his of his show of co-host at this point. I have three yeah, so far. Colin Stevens says, JF was afraid to get wrecked by Jay again. Um, uh, JF, you're still here. You didn't yep. want to come on earlier. What made you decide to come on? Well, Mr. Mitaker is a good boy. I've always said it. I want to encourage him. And so wherever he's on a stream, I'm up for coming. There you go. Everybody loves it, Sweetie Squad, Ralph. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just thought, I just thought it was curious that earlier you, you had no time to come on. You, you you weren't available to come on, but all of a sudden you opened up when, when Jim came here. I mean, I've been listening to the whole thing. But, yeah, yeah, you've uh, been here the whole time. Don't get me wrong, yeah. Yeah. 
He sure, was that's being muffled. I can listen, but I cannot access my microphone. Okay. Oh, you can you can hear the bourbon running through Ralph. He's getting ornery now. <laughs> it's, it's, teque it's tequila. Actually, it's tequila tonight. It's usually bourbon, though. To be fair, um, Bob Bill says, "Who is playing Dota?" And I believe that was. Uh, oh, yeah, that, that was actually a game of Dota that I had open. I was oh. watching a good game of Dota. All right. <laughs> Uh, and Arctic says, here, take my poor man money instead of JF. I'll take it. Thank you. Bob Bill says, what if J what is JF's MMR and will I be able to meet him at TI8? No, uh, unfortunately, I dreamed of being a professional Dota player, but I don't have the talent. I'm not Asian. All right, so Ralph, uh, could I interrupt your shekel? Please shekel chat do, please do, please do. Uh, you got a regular chat from my account. Wanted me to ask JF something for them. Um, oh, it's from your account. No, 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 no. From your, uh, from the the live chat. Oh, from... okay, okay, okay. okay. No, Go no. On. It's the name of the account is my account. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It says, uh, "Ask JF about his White Knight stream about Lauren Sweets." That's what started this all. What uh, What do they mean, White Knight stream? I mean. As I always do, when my crowd starts claiming that someone in my surrounding has done something unethical, I do a full like one hour or two hour stream that that included the twist and mind of Andy Warski and all these streams I done on Andy. I did the same for Lauren oh, oh, and actually, I concluded that she had Jeff, not. Yeah, actually, I wanted to actually ask you something about that. So you said uh, one of your your criticisms of me because my thing on Chris Cantwell on Kumite was basically that he wanted a, um, a, a white ethno state and a, a, a Jewish person snuck in that they would have the wood chipper. And I didn't use the word, you know, hypothetical, which was then you said slander. Yeah, there was a difference between a statement and yours, and it was worsening in his statement. That's not the point. The, the reason, uh, uh, the thing that you said on your stream that make, actually made me... Uh, uh, curious was you said the reason that disrespecting a guest was different in my case is because I got super chats, right? Uh, it's it's more complex than this. It's but, that, but, but you like that was one of your main reasons. You said the, the reason super chats. I found that you had committed high cockery and that Lauren did not is that you had actually triggered Cantwell on that question because you were reading a super chat and you, you incited that answer from Cantwell and you laughed at it and you went with without contesting what he was saying. I mean, so, at the end, so, we said yeah, we so did my, my point is, my point is if, if I'm getting super chats and so you're saying, what you're saying is if I get super chats, I can't criticize someone. So no, it's no. like, oh, oh, you, you, you got a super chat. Therefore, you can't criticize because you're, you're getting a super chat. No, I'm not saying you can't criticize the ID. I'm saying you can't criticize the fact that the guest was there and was honestly answering your question. If I come to you, Andy, and I said, Andy, do you prefer McDonald or Tim Hortons? And you answer Tim Hortons. I cannot go on another show the next day and say, I never want anyone stating that they like Tim Hortons as a restaurant on my show. And into, on top of it, if I, made, if I made $500, <laughs> if I made a $1,000 super chat for asking you that question, it's a little bit of a being of a cuck if I go on no, the next no, day and say, I can't believe you answered Tim if Hortons. If I have to be nice to someone just because it was the super chat, that's being a cuck because again oh, i didn't oh, say you had to be nice so then what's your point i, I said you cannot go on a show the next day while you took all that money and you laughed with the answer oh, you cannot oh, go on a show the next day and say how about, how about, how about he puts I never shoulders up and act like a show. fucking man if i'm if i'm i'm sorry for swearing uh, sir uh yeah <laughs> <laughs> sorry i'm in the uber and i just swore uh yeah no but like like, oh, I went on Kumite and criticized him. Boo-hoo. Like, oh, my God. Like, relax. You, you know didn't I mean? just criticize him. You abandoned the idea of having guests of that kind while keeping the money for you. I was just pointing that this is a form of cuckery. Yeah, you can but assume your cuckery and I'm not gonna live bend with over, it. I'm not going to bend over for someone that I disagree with because I made money. I'm not saying if, you should if, bend if, over. If the guest, if the if the guest or that caliber of guest was like, I don't want to be on your show anymore because you made fun of me, 
then so be it. I'm not going to cry over it. Like, I'm not going to like, like hide my feelings because, oh, I made money. If, I never if someone asked bashed, you to hide your feelings. Yeah, but you're saying, oh, it's wrong what I did because I made money. But why should I, I like, friggin', like, like just take it in the ass because, like, I made money off him. Oh, I heard. I mean, feelings. there's various Ooh. ways where it wouldn't have been cockery. You could have refused to read the super chat. You could have. That's said, cockery right there. Oh, I'm gonna be scared. Yeah, to by read the, the way, super chat. by the way, JF, let me say this: You were in the chat earlier and you were acting all high and mighty. You said you don't read a super chat over twenty. You know, unless if it's under twenty dollars, you don't read it. Is is that is that correct? Oh. I was making a jokes to your viewers who were insulting me with two dollars super chat. I was saying, no, no, please, I, I, I don't you. really know. That's what I'm asking you. Is that true or not? Okay. That's what. No, oh, I read all super chats on okay. my show. Okay. But I was right. joking at to your viewers. Okay. Who all were right. insulting me? All yeah, right. I mean, uh, my position is still the same on this. It was cockery in the sense of keeping the money, laughing while he's there, and then the next day. Being like, we don't want guests like this. It doesn't make sense. I, I can't whoa, believe whoa, you whoa, said whoa, that. Whoa, 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 I, I didn't say that. I said, you can't be talking about murder on the stream. That's what I said. Yeah, which is what he, what he did. Okay, and I'd prefer if you don't talk about murder on the stream because I don't want to fucking... Oh, Andy. Yeah, I mean, I understand at this point. Yeah, I understand yeah, yeah, sorry, I kind of text. So I have expressed kinda... mine. We, I, I hope we can agree that Lauren's case is absolutely different. She did not incite Patrick Little to be on my show. She did not ask questions but, to but Patrick ask, why Little. Do you, hang on, hang on, why do you ban everyone when you're called the public space? Isn't it really not the public space when you're banning everyone who criticizes you? The same way if someone goes naked on the street, we'll get them in a jail. <laughs> it's a public uh, space but there are rules there were people who were being banned for being like oh, what Lauren did was stupid boom banned <laughs> like it was just like well, calm there's down, no one man. who said exactly that and got banned they, they used uh, personal attacks or they, they, they falsely attribute statements to me this has always been the rule on my channel it's years that I've been doing that I've been oh, improving my community through banning all right, that's fine. That's your that's your that's your perspective. All right. I think it's a little bit um you know, cowardly, but you know, that's just an opinion. That's just an opinion. Well, I mean, I mean it's, actually I I it's not an honorable I'm... thing to want to expose yourself to all abuse by all trolls. Actually, ever since I unbanned everyone, I've been like You have more fun, absorbing. haven't you? Yeah. Huh? You've had more fun since then, haven't you? I mean, at oh least my, it, it's the, I will it's say this in my own experience oh. since I've unbanned people and just said, fuck it, just whatever. And by the way, I didn't ban most of these people anyway. It was mods on my channel that did that. But it's just like, whatever, just let it roll for the most part. I mean, in terms of docs, I'll still say, okay, get rid of that. Yeah, just, yeah, just, of course, yeah. yeah. But other than that, who cares? Like, I, I just don't give a fuck. I mean, people talk shit about me all the time. I mean, people make fun of me all the time. It's funny. I mean, I sit here and make fun of myself. Like, I, I don't really see the point in, in banning people. So, yeah. I mean, I mean, it's your channel. You can do whatever you want. Well, yeah, I mean, of course. Opinion. You know, at the end of the day, it's your channel. Yeah, you, of, course, of course. You can you can do what you want, but I'm just saying. But more than this, you guys are arguing, I shouldn't ban, I shouldn't ban. You don't see the comments I ban. And more than this, you don't have arguments to support what these trolls are saying. Andy, Andy, I, I, I want to ask Andy, right, Mr. Metaker, and Ralph, go ahead and explain to me why is Lauren a useless thought that does okay. not... Well, let me tell you this, JF. People sit here and talk all kinds of shit about the woman that I'm married to. They post all kinds of fake things about her, f fake things about me, and I don't ban them for that. They, they, they say just the most despicable things you could imagine about me and her and and members See, of my you've family. You've escaped my question. Well, you're you're I'm escaping saying, I still my question. I don't ban them for that, though. I, I don't no, 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 no. You're escaping my question. Okay. Or what's Make the exact a case question? right now, Raf. Make a case. That Lauren is a useless dot who has brought nothing to my show. I will say that you could have plugged anybody into her slot and they would have done the same, if not better. 
Okay, and so that's you not cannot... an insult of her. No, 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 I just no, no, don't no, think Sophie. that she brings that you, much you to are... the table. I mean, I, maybe you, that is an insult. Are... I don't know, but um... you're moving the goalpost. <laughs> I'm back to my question. Make a case that Lauren is a useless stud who brought. Let me ask you this: Lauren, on her own, put out a tweet that said she didn't need you defending her. And again, her. you she are moving you the goalpost. Okay. You keep moving the goalpost. What's the goalpost then? I don't. I don't understand what you're saying. Go ahead. I'm setting a pillar. You have to prove this pillar to me. Lauren is a useless stud who brought uh, no, nothing look. to my. Well, show. Ralph, I'll take, I'll take that one. I'll Go take ahead. that one. Go ahead. I'd say look at your metrics. I mean, look at the like-dislike ratio with the streams that she's been on compared to the ones where she wasn't on them. I, I think it's clear to see what the audience sentiment is. I mean, you can say you've only banned a few people, but when you've got hundreds and hundreds of dislikes, that, that has to tell you that the audience watching is obviously disagreeing with the choice in selecting her. Uh, oh, and, and, right. you know, well, no, and I, I mean, take I it think a, it's a good argument. There are people frustrated that are all right. But as far as the money goes, it keeps increasing. So what do I have to conclude in front of this data, Mr. Mitterker? Well, I, w I would caution you that kind of making egocentric statements like uh, making a lot of money, so who cares, is the first, the first, the first slip up a lot of people make, especially when they do decisions that alienate their audience. I'm not saying that's what you're doing. I'm just saying I would caution you on that. But my yeah, advice more goes to how chat and you interact with chat. I mean, uh, or uh, just anybody in general. I mean, this is just how I approach it. Whatever, that's the, that's the approach I take. But people are going to say whatever the fuck they want to say. I mean, you know, I, I do streams and I do videos where I shit on all sorts of stuff. So it would be kind of, I, I think, hypocritical on my part to then turn around and say to the guy in chat who's calling me a giant fucking faggot, oh, you can't say that after I go out and call Tumblrettes faggots, after I go out and call SJWs faggots, after I go out and call bronies and furries faggots. I mean, if I'm going to dish it, I should be able to take it. I'm not even saying what they're saying is true, but they should at least be allowed to fucking say it. You're doing the exact same moving of the goalpost that Ralph did. I'm no, asking that's you to prove up the on thesis. My... I'm asking so, you to prove the thesis. That so here... is a useless stat who brought nothing to the show. And you're talking see, about this. The thesis this you're putting out there is nothing. Nobody's ever said that, though. Yeah, you're no, you're, yeah. you're yeah. strawmanning. That, that's I've, not the, something you guys ever no, said. No, 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 no. The people I've banned. I've banned the people for saying that. Now, but you've what, banned people what? for saying things other than that too. Now, here I have three, I have three grown men who cannot even stand by this troll statement. Who cannot even defend here, it. Jay, I, I, I already did. I said, look, yeah. look, look just, at the reaction just, of your your audience. And I mean, you, yeah, you could be making money. That's great. But no, there, 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 are, there are other metrics the involved with growing a show. I mean, there were many shows mm -hmm. with Andy where there was lots of dislikes. But they were good, and we were building a history with it. Well, I mean, and do you want to compare nothing. your numbers with Andy to your numbers with Lauren? Because, I mean, when you and Andy were doing streams together, especially at the beginning, like, I mean, you and Lauren are at the beginning right now, you guys were doing triple the numbers you're doing right now. Oh, my, my, go my goal is not to reach the numbers of Andy. My goal is to make a different show, and I'm on a different channel. Of course, I expected it to be lower, but what? everything yeah. that we've seen for the last that month thing, has yeah. been higher than expectations. So there's no problem with the, the numbers on my channel. I'm very happy. May I add one that. thing, Jeff? Sorry, uh, just real quick. Uh, like, okay, I, I understand what you're saying. It's like, prove that she's a useless... Uh, a useless uh, a thought and, and isn't adding anything to the show but sometimes it's just like it's the internet and just take it on the chin you know what i mean well i don't take it's it on like the it. chin i i, I don't want I mean, to participate in an act of publication of false information and but, here but, we have three grown men who cannot even stand by this statement other adults, yeah, no, but wait, other but wait, i never that made chat. that statement jf that's the ah, thing that gets me I so never you disagree said with that. the trolls no, no you cannot okay. defend say, the idea i didn't of the say trolls. she was completely worthless I, i'm saying that uh what she ah. said was a detriment to your show and that you you know standing by her i was gonna say autistically standing by her but that would probably be rude um but it, it's not really a benefit to to what you have going on that that would be my my statement All right. so now we also agree that the troll was wrong and so no, no. i banned the troll I mean, that say she's wrong. completely worthless i mean and that she's a thought and just because she's a female and she has a pussy and that she's worthless no i've never said that i'm it's saying okay. that, that she's, the she's the people, people, yes. the people you guys are not letting me speak no, the go people ahead. No, let him speak. Let him speak. Go ahead. Go ahead. These, these ideas are what the 
pros that I've banned were saying. So what is to gain okay. from an opinion that not a single man in a group of three here can defend? Because, okay, here, here because you sometimes you just take it on the chin and who cares? Like, it's not like people are going to read that and go, wait, look at that comment. Maybe she is a useless. No, man. People know what's just so being mean. A, and so what is the no, 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 this, this is very important. This is very important. Finish your statement this and is, then I want to say something. Go ahead. From a psychological perspective, this is a comment from someone who's been suffering through abuse and who's <laughs> habituated to receive it. Now, now, let me ask you this. What, what is it that, that is such a key contribution that Lauren Rose, she's just this key person. She's such a vital personality. What is it that just makes you stand by her in the face of all this criticism? What is it? She produces intellectual content that is valuable. Do you think so? I mean, she's just some well random 19-year-old, basically, with a Twitter account. Do you, do you really think that's the case? I mean... Well, Ralph, you, you do a full review of an episode and you explain why she's wrong on certain points. I'd like to hear you, but I haven't heard anything. I mean, do you really think she's a prof you use the term professional talker? And yeah, uh, talking, I, actually uh, used the I actually said the only professional talker I know to to uh, go into the realm of uh, complete dick sucking here on the stream would be Mr. Medicare. Uh, in terms of people that actually know and um have been involved with that that i feel like could actually be into that professional realm i don't think lauren rose uh rises to that category to be honest with you mr metaker has spent years on the internet without making a single serious political statement it's admirable but it's not good for my show uh, all right so I want hey, to Ralph, you're in. talking to the guy who wanted Aaron as co-host. Well, like, okay. I think he was here. <laughs> here, I want to, I want to make a couple points. Uh, trying to get in for a little bit. Um, you said it was a minority of people, JF, that disliked uh, what you're doing. Actually, that's probably incorrect because on your video, Lauren, Lauren did nothing wrong. You have 994 dislikes. Every comment is basically going after you, and all of them have above 200 uh, whatever upvotes and stuff. Um, I'm not firing over tweets, but banning longtime listeners and donors for disagreeing with you is okay. The uh, What else? What else? Bring back Emily. It's really uh, counterproductive to cr publicly critique your own guys. I love you, JF, but she shouldn't have done it. It was pointless bickering, and she went too far. Uh, JF, I love you, buddy, and I support your show. However, I res respectfully disagree with you defending your co-host on this subject. I can't watch your video now. We white knights now. That's got like 200 upvotes. Uh, da -da -da. And, and, and they all... And, 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 no, hold on. Literally yeah, every... Yeah, go ahead. You can, ahead. you can literally scroll down this entire video of 15,000 people, and about 90%, 90 plus, more than 90% of these comments are against you and saying what you did is... Uh, against this stuff, uh, banning people and then, you know, white knighting. So your, your entire thing of saying it's a minority of people, a minority of minority of people is incorrect. No, um, you, just look, you just are look making false assumptions. I'm not. It's you your are. own video. No, no, what am I making a false assumption? There are assumption. a lot of people are. criticizing you on your own videos. I mean, it doesn't, no. doesn't look mean they're me. saying, I'm never going to listen to you again. Yeah, yeah. I'm, just, I'm just saying that there's not a minority of people disagreeing yeah. with how you handled this. Yeah. And if you still think that, I mean, man. That's you are wrong. Scary. You right, are let, assuming. Let Jeff respond, then I have another question. Go ahead, Joe. You are assuming that there are human beings between these comments and these dislikes. You think they're bots. By the way, that's another thing that I've heard that you think that it's bots or like artificial. Opposition. Absolutely. There are groups in the extreme uh, fringe of the alt-right that are pushing for extremism no, in Jeff. all alt-right shows. Jeff, and I, I have people who I talk to who DM me, who are, who are fans of yours, who were DMing me during your stream like, yo, what the hell is JF doing? It's not like a bot. It's actual people who are, who are right, have criticism. donated money. What's so, their no, nickname on, on YouTube? On. So whenever someone criticizes you, it's a bot. No, no, I'm not saying that anyone who criticizes me is a bot. I'm saying I will not trust a like-dislike ratio for a single episode. Oh my god, come on. So, okay, so everything, every other like-dislike ratio is fine, minus that one particular no, uh, no. video? Yeah, that's the difference between you and I, Andy. You are an oscillator. I'm a stable motherfucker. You're not. I you keep ban everyone. Forward. You ban everyone I have a plan. Who has criticism of you. And when you don't have a plan, you end up being an oscillator box. like you. You you're try to listen box. to everything in your environment. You try box. to grab onto people because you don't have trust in yourself. 
I know wow. exactly what I'll be doing on YouTube in a year, in five years, and in 10 years. Can you say hey, as I've much? I've been on YouTube me? for 12 years. I'll be fine, okay? But, hey, look, you if you have criticisms of, of you, you can't just go, oh, it's probably a bot. No, but I, I'm willing to, to listen to a criticism, Andy. What's wrong with Lauren? Well, then why is 90% of your audience criticizing you? And you're no, like... No, no. You, you're not listening. What's wrong with Lauren? Tell me a political argument she's done that you find is wrong. Well, Do ask you your audience who's criticizing you. No, no, I'm asking you because I want to hear a true critique. I'm, I'm, I'm Do you think that Patrick Little... I'm not talking about me. I'm talking about your audience. Oh, but you You're don't know my audience. Bots. You, you claim, have no idea. You claim they that are. they're bots. You couldn't right? even retain them for yourself. And now you're trying to retain them from me? You claim that they're bots. So tell me why they're wrong. I don't know. I'm saying I haven't heard a single argument that makes Lauren's statement wrong. Because you talk like to, to people who, who criticize you. Okay, so explain to me. What's the argument that you well, read in this comment section? People, unblock the person. Ah, so the you people, don't know. Un you rely on hearsay. And that's no, why no. you... Oh, so 90% of your audience is wrong. That's why you lost yeah, that okay. much money. You're you so, cannot formulate so a single My argument. God. Yeah, 90% of angry. your audience criticize you and you're saying that they're bots. That's pathetic, no. dude. Where did yes, you get you that? Did. You what do you mean, no. I had I had a thousand two hundred viewers tonight on a Saturday night, which is my lowest night. We listened Great. to Greg Johnson. They've interacted with me and they were pleased with the show. And we made as much well, money yeah, as we do on every Saturday. Well, yeah, after everyone who criticized you, I'm sure you're gonna have a lot of positive comments. Yeah. Now, yeah, let me, okay. by the way, hold on, let it's me read very this. Easy to get positive comments when let you me read this, Andy. You. This is a comment that somebody sent me, and they said this was deleted from JF's uh, channel. I don't, I don't know whether it was or not, but this uh, Lauren did nothing wrong was the name of the stream. And as you can see from the screenshot, uh, it had more, you know, dislikes than likes. I don't know if it's still like that or not. Uh, it, this was real fast, Ralph. Uh, I have one percent on my phone left, so it's gonna die. Hey, in a man. Second. Plug it in. If you can't plug it in, just just let me know when you get back, and we can put you back on if you'd like. Uh, All right, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. cool. Um, like, like, if I just die out, you'll know. I'll yeah, I understand. I understand. Ralph, before before you get to that, can I ask who's screen sharing? Is that you or is that Zidane? That's me. I, I'm the one. Nice, uh, nice impartiality. Yeah, I'm the one that can. I can see the. Me. I can see the little thumbs down. I'm the one that can. No, that wasn't me. By the way, that's a screenshot. That, that wasn't. That's, that's that not wasn't me. me that delv <laughs> no, don't even go there, uh -huh. Jim. By the way, I was about to. That's an image. That's, that's an image. Up, by the way, but it it no, that's not me that downloaded it. Yeah, that's a screenshot, either. and somebody <laughs> somebody sent this to me in DMs, and they said, "Look, Ralph, here's an example of JF banning <laughs> you know somebody that you know didn't go over the line or whatever." And this is Bloody Deagle 77 and he said, Pretty disappointed you got involved in this Twitter shit drama, to be honest, JF. All you had to do was to remain, to remain neutral and set a debate between Patrick, Lauren, Richard, Nick, and whoever else. Then, through moderation, try to reconcile the parties. Now you just came out looking like a white knight for a LARPing, self-proclaimed 19-year-old trad thought. You oh yeah, I've actually announced in advance on, on the stream that anyone calling me a white knight, I will ban because they are not respect, respecting my intellectual so arguments. So you're saying They're this thinking, whole, like, I don't even need to read the rest. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. It's okay. the white knight comment right, that made right. it. Uh, That's good because it was a longer, <laughs> it was a longer comment. Uh, I really actually like said on my stream, if you want to get banned, just call me a white knight, you will get banned. And there's literally people who just wrote, you're a white knight. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, is, it is a longer comment though it wasn't like it was just yeah. oh you're a white knight but, but that, that's the point that okay. led to all right fair enough it. i mean so i can just stop now but but one of the things you said earlier i mean you kind of um i don't know if called out called out jim or whatever but you said that he never gives his position on a political topic so it's easy for him uh, at least that seemed to be w what your yeah like, jim, i have a lot of people asking me so are you a nazi or not no, I mean, that's, that should be clear. I went on Exodus Americanus, and they asked me if I was an ethno-nationalist, and I told them no, and that interview's two years old. <laughs> I mean, okay. if people listen to the shit I do, they'd understand my fucking political positions, but apparently they don't look around. I don't. Yeah, so, I mean, no, I, we had a long conversation about uh, my thoughts on that and kind of the, the viewpoint that I took on it. Nice. 
Jim's a uh, constitutionalist. But I mean, we hear that a lot. I mean, at least Jim, I do. Jim, like, are, are, Jim yeah. are you a Nazi? Yeah, I'm the Nazi banging the Asian chick. They love it. <laughs> No, Nothing says white lot. nationalism like, more like uh, Asian pussy. Yeah. No, but we hear that a lot. It's like, oh, Jim, you know, of course he can just come on and say whatever, and he never takes a position, which is absolutely really not true. Um, it's a, but, it's a draw, well, man. I guess my yeah. counter to that is who fucking cares? Like, That's are true. people going on Markiplier's YouTube channel and saying, hey, put the LPs down and tell me who you <laughs> voted for? Like, it's fucking YouTube. I, I, I'm not putting myself out as a political commentator. Even when I was doing the anti-SGW stuff, I really wasn't. I mean, I always kind of stuck to the, yeah, I've got right, right wing leanings is, is kind of the, the thing I went into it. But I always follow that up with fucking comments that I didn't really give a shit who the fuck you were. As long as you were relaxed, I'd have a beer with you. We were more having fun laughing at the fact that one chick fucked five guys. Yeah, yeah, or, or shit like that. But um, no, no, I mean, yeah, I, I've done a lot of podcasts where I've talked about politics. I guess just people haven't listened to them. Or they're unaware that they were out, even though I threw up links to them. No, but even on this very program, I mean, there's been parts where you, you've delved into politics. I don't know. I, I just feel like that's kind of uh, yeah, yeah, an I, erroneous I, 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 uh, accusation, I guess. I, I, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a Cicero before a Caesar kind of guy. I like the Republic. <laughs> I like the Republic. But, you know, if, if I had an ideal government, I imperialism is the way to go. That's Cicero the way to save America. Cicero before Caesar. All right. You just won me over completely. Uh, but uh, with with your uh, Roman Republic talk, uh, so yeah, I don't know. I guess I just brought that up because JF said it. it was like, and and I've heard the same talking point before. Oh, Jim, you know, he just he just says whatever, and he never gets pinned down on anything, and he can just you know, so he can attack basically, well, so, it, so he can attack it, it, anybody it, wherever. You know what I mean? Yeah. Is it going to make the diaper fur videos more interesting if you know who I vote for? <laughs> do you, Do you really fucking care what my politics are? No, I personally whatever. don't. I, I am really not. You know, on in the context of no, they no, were that's... suggesting that you would have gone, been a good co-host, and my answer to this is first, I don't think Jim wants to do the the live streaming business on another channel than his own. So, and also in terms of political development, I mean, you can tell your opinion, but I don't think you have huge original ideas, right? No, I'm not writing. I'm not going out writing political dissertations. No, I'm not yeah. trying to lead the way into a new political philosophy. I mean, I, I'm fairly kind of rock solid where I'm at. Um, this and no, is what I, I'm I, doing on my channel. And so to explain to Ralph Retard, on my channel, the goal is not numbers. The goal is not audience. The goal is not uh, not not having people hate me or not having people dislike some videos. The goal is development of novel political ideas. I will ask. I will not even ask. I will just say this. Um, I've I've watched a lot of your streams. I don't get to see as many as as I would necessarily like because uh, you know my show's right after yours, right? So um, I don't always. <laughs> I'm preparing for my show. Believe it or not, we do do a little preparation for, for the show. Um, but the 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 thing about it is, uh, I, I I just. I, I, I just don't yes yes I'm, I'm I guess I'm searching for the words here um what is it so you're saying here that you don't care about numbers right so you're saying if your streams drop down to 300 versus whatever you're getting now 1500 1700 um or more on, on a certain occasion you don't care about numbers I don't really believe that like that that just doesn't pass the smell test uh, because you would be frantic. You would be searching for a way to, to bring those numbers up. You would be doing whatever you could to, to make things good. I, I just don't... That doesn't really make sense, right? Like, I mean, okay. It's, to say of you course, don't care about numbers is a ridiculous statement, right? Well, I'm not saying it's I don't care about number. Numbers are a third or fourth value of my channel. I care first about political ideas, and that's what I meant. I said that the goal of my channel is political ideas and scientific ideas. Uh, of course, the choice between having 4,000 viewers and three, 300 viewers, I'll take the 4,000 well, viewers. Of course, everybody would. Yeah. Not, that, not that the cost of the political innovation that I want to create. Well, I'm not saying you know you would sell out everything for it, but, but what I'm saying is if, you're, if your channel tanked and, and you weren't getting these viewers, of course you're going to be looking, searching. I don't know. Just, just to say, I don't care about numbers. I don't care who's watching. I didn't say that. That doesn't. I'm like, that doesn't. Okay. All right. I said my channel is built around my first value, which is 
political ideas and innovating in the dis- the public discourse. All right. Well, I, 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 I guess just when I first heard it, it was like, I don't care about numbers. I don't care about, I'll just do whatever. I mean, look, th- that doesn't. I think a more appropriate way to say it would be he cares about the numbers, but it's not his top priority. Now, I will yeah. say this. I care about the numbers. Everybody cares about the numbers. Um, but I didn't say I need to do this to get the numbers. I need to do what I can to, um, you know, increase my, you know, whatever persona, whatever you want to call it. Uh, basically I just did the same thing I was always doing and I got lucky with baked Alaska just destroying himself and we covered it live and Jim was there and other people were there and we had fun with it and we just kept having fun the same way we always had fun. And it paid off. I mean, we really haven't changed a thing. I've been doing this show for years and years before people were watching it like they're watching it now. And it just it just paid off. I mean, it's, it's, there's really no difference if you look back between the show now and the show three years ago, except maybe the co-host and, uh, and, and this and that. But other than that, it's the same type of content, the same types of things we've always done. Um, so, um, I guess I just always had this certain way I wanted to do things, but I didn't say, oh, I want to sell myself out or I want to, you know, be a bitch or, um, I, I need to do this to get the audience, I guess. Uh, I, I, the only reason the Baked Alaska thing happened is basically I saw Jim laughing about it on Twitter and I said, oh, I need to cover this. And I happened to cover his destruction live and that, that's kind of how that happened. So... Um, it it wasn't like a master plan. It just kind of the only record that exists of that meltdown too. Yeah, yeah he also, de- he deleted his stream. And, cool. Yeah. So, so the only thing I'll, I'll say is, without the chat, you really don't have a show. So when you start when you ban half of it, your show is already diminished by half. Yeah. Well, you look at the chat. I mean, and not just that's, now, but throughout the evening. I mean, it's 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 ridiculous how entertaining just the actual chat is versus mm-hmm. what we're talking about on the air. And not that there's been no entertainment on the air, but if you just read the chat, it's just fucking hilarious. Like they're part they're part of it. That's yeah, the thing. It's, it's, it's hilarious. It's like a live audience. Not you know, only like, they're yeah. part of it, they they influence people on it. They see the chat too. Like I, I don't know. I just in terms of banning the chat, that's not really my thing. Of course, anybody's channel can do whatever they want, but. Um, I want to point to something because it's a nice poker table we have grouped here. Ralph, sure. Mr. Mitaker, Andy, and me. Uh, in November, my average viewer for for a live stream was 60 people. And here we are today, and the average viewers I have is more than 1,500. And so I'm in a good position, even if people, uh, they want to create drama around it. I'm I'm growing if you smooth out my curve, because you you should not look at my numbers on a day per day basis. So yes, I do care about the numbers, and I'm satisfied with the numbers. I in fact I I may have too much audience, and so there's a bunch of trolls I've decided to get rid of while I'm at the peak, and that's necessary for making my community welcoming to where I'm headed. Now, can I tell you this? Um, I was on stream with you and Andy Worski um, when you guys had, you know, the top show in the land, basically, or at least in this community. And you guys regularly got, you know, three to five thousand people just watching a regular stream. Neither one of you have risen to that height since, uh, because just like Jim said, uh, if you guys split up, you would split the audience. And that's exactly what happened. You have mm-hmm. never risen to the same heights and you I mean, maybe you will. Most likely you won't uh, ro- rise to those same heights again. Um, but I was on one of those shows, and I was on there with Nick Fuentes, and uh, I told him, I said, uh, give me one year, and we'll look at where you're at, and we'll look at where I'm at, and we'll, mm-hmm. we'll, we'll compare, you know the the uh the results and if it's not been a year yet it's been what three months two or three months but i'm higher than him right now i'm pretty confident Mm -hmm. i'll be higher than him in a year you weren't so you pretty much took his side you didn't really think that would be the case at that time what do you think about that now 
what I've already withdrawn my opinion there uh, in the show right there on Ralph Retard. I told you that now I was seeing you rising more and that you you had defocused on drama and you you had created a structure that gives me much more hope in you. So I've withdrew that opinion already. I think uh-huh. I, I'm not saying that Nick Frontes will fail. No, I think no, he's I, and I never said that either, by the way. I don't think he'll fail. Yeah, go ahead. Given your current discipline, I believe you may be in the race for being one of the big, big live streams uh, in a year from now. All right, fair enough. Um, I mean, I don't know what else I can say to that. Thank you. Um. <laughs> and as far as the as far as falling down from the Warsky Live numbers to my yeah, numbers, yeah, yeah. I mean, that is a fair point, right? Like, and Jim, I, I knew it Jim said happen. that himself. I think that is a like a thing to talk about, like because you guys were getting you know four four or five thousand just for a regular stream, and then. You split the audience, basically, right? I mean, but first, it wasn't my audience. It was built on a different channel than true. me. And the second thing is, I actually make more money right now than I used to do as a co-host on Andy Warsky. So, well, you because you control <laughs> all the income, right? I mean, yeah, like, and it's hard to be crying when your salary just got raised by like three, four times. <laughs> That's yeah, why people want to look. I saw you say that in another clip, and I mean, look. I can't, who could disagree with that to be honest with you i mean it's hard to cry when you, not only does your salary raise but you have complete control over your salary you have complete control over your show like i mean it's it's hard for me to sit here and, and oh ralph can i can i cut in with a question yes, here are you, please, are, are you guys are, are you guys too busy giving no. each other reach arounds all right <laughs> uh from the free chat my account again not my account that's no, the name no, of your, it's account. your account no go ahead it's your uh, account uh they they have another one uh and i think it's a fair question uh, if JF says it's about educating people about new political ideas, ask JF why he calls the members of his audience who don't send super chats freeloaders. Um, <clears throat> free riders, which I said, uh, and free riders is an objective term for someone who's benefiting from a product without paying for it. This is the objective way where you can talk about someone who doesn't send super chat, someone who doesn't send Patreons. I didn't say that with uh, a negative connotation. I just pointed out that the trolls, those who cause harassment in my chat and in my Discord, <laughs> they are free riders. I didn't say all free riders are trolls. I said the trolls that I spotted and that I banned, most of them were free riders. There were two of them that were regular super chatters. And I decided, will I will I compromise the flow of my show for five bucks? No. Okay, and there's a question too from the audience for you, Ralph. Oh, is there? By the way, sorry, I I will disassociate myself from the reach rounds. Yes, go ahead. What what, what is the question, Jim? And this is uh, from my account, not my account in no, the chat. No, it's, just, it's your this account. is from me. No, yeah, this is from me. <laughs> Um, have you hit any fucking cops yet, or we still got a no, half a bottle? I'm go? still all good. I'm still on I probation. Think, I, I I won't even I think, think about hitting a cop until at least uh, April of 2019. I love I love the fact that you're on probation and you do live <laughs> drunk. That's great. Now you know Wait, what? So what you, you know what? You know what? Jim? <laughs> yeah. you, I will say this, Jim. Um, when I got out, uh, one of my things was uh, I thought that um, I might not be able to drink because they said. Well, I, I don't know. I had a miscommunication or, or whatever that I wouldn't be able to drink. But when I got out and I got on probation, they said, no, actually you can drink as long as it doesn't interfere with your job. Well, guess who employs me? Me. Uh, guess who controls whether it interferes with my job? Me. Um, so, yes, I can drink as, as long as I don't get a uh, criminal charge or as long as it doesn't interfere with my job. I can drink as much as I want. So... I would argue that it actually makes your job better the drunker you get. Yeah, I know, and that's kind of fucking crazy, to be honest with you, but it, 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 it honestly, a, it honestly up to does. Up to a perfect plot. Up to a point. Up to a point. <laughs> up to a point where I have to actually take the stream down off YouTube. Uh, which, Immediately. Which, which has happened a couple times in the last uh, couple weeks. Uh, but yeah, uh, yeah, I'm perfect. Oh, also, Ralph, uh, you got a you got a shekel chat for 50 bucks. I don't know. Have you read that one? That was a yeah, pretty big... You know what? I, I let you fuckers... Drone on for twenty or thirty minutes. That was the reason I, did. I didn't read the the uh, shekel chats. But uh, well, let's just go ahead and read them now that you let's mentioned them. Um, uh, hold on, I have to pick up. Uh, Mountain Walk says, "Has anyone played Einhander? 
What the fuck? PS, it's pretty good. I haven't played it. Jim, did you play Iron Hander on PS1? I didn't. I had a PS1, but I didn't play it. Yeah, it was a good game, but I, I never kept a copy of it, which I probably should have because it's pretty valuable. Or I'd imagine it is. I don't know. PS1 games have been fluctuating all over the fucking place. So who knows? Yeah, I, I didn't play it. I played Destruction Derby. I played fucking Twisted Metal. Goddamn. Twisted Metal. Oh, man. I'd love to play that right now. Anyway, uh, Frederick White says, True, JF and Rose have blocked me on Twitter. They can dish it out, but they can't take it. Didn't do Electric Boogaloo says, Let's just say JF is in the, is in the middle of doing exactly what Sargon does. Use the alt-right as a meme to build an audience, then turncoats. Tanja Theory says, Challenge. JF looks like his mom combs his hair in the morning and uses her spit to comb down the trouble parts. <laughs> uh, Twisted Puppet says, Ooh. Hey, JF, how's that custody custody battle going? But Mountain... Oh, it's going well. All right. But Mountain says, Sticks... Excuse me. Sticks seems to have a way of staying clean even when people throw mud at him. Yeah, well, I mean, I have a lot of experience with Sticks. Uh, I, I was watching his videos, and then, you know, I went to jail for, like, eight months, and so he blew up kind of while I was gone. And I don't have any problems with him, though. He seems like a cool dude. Uh, orbiting uh, Isau? Isu? Andy is really dr- 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 drunk. A helpful hound job says, is Jim still sick, and was it COPD? Uh, no, it was not COPD. <laughs> Uh, Ouija SDI says, can we just get rid of Andy? Just give me a dollar amount. I don't, I don't know if Andy's still here or not. I'm too drunk. Nice one, Dave. Yeah. He's I th- gone. Yeah, I think I'm too drunk. Colin Stevens says, Andy and Jim are the pedo slayers. GM Plug says, Andy Worski, please don't bomb the ind- embassy. You're a good guy and have a lot to live for. Napoleon Complex says, tell Andy that every time he thinks he loses a co-host, he's terrible at it. Get, get JF back and play Dino Wars with Sargoy while he's making you bank. What do you think, by the way, Jim, while you're here, and while you're so fucking, you know, uppity and uh, making fun of me? Oh, listen. yes. I'm, I'm sorry. As a bee is an uppity. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about the whole uh, art thing? I don't fucking play Ark. I don't care what these idiots do. But you know what's going on, though, right? Like, I, I don't fucking know what it is. Come I, I don't on, know what you the, know what's no, happening. No, I mean, I know, I, I know they're having a little battle. I don't know what the fuck the point of it is. I don't understand it. So, look, they're having a battle. Sargon called him out. Like, I mean, just say it's faggotry and move on. Like, I, I don't know. Well, I answered in your chat la- like last night because it was near the end when I jumped on. Somebody said, are you going to play Ark? And I was like, fuck no. <laughs> that was... <laughs> That was actually me. <laughs> Set that on the stream. I have Ark and I played it for like I don't know, maybe forty five to sixty minutes two years ago. And I played it and it was like it was super buggy. Like it was really bad. I know. I've, I mean, I, I've played it before. I played it with Hack. We played for like a week in co-op, and it, it was, was like this rubber banding shit dude. where you couldn't fucking sync up properly. And we tried going into a public server no. and it crashed our game because there was so much shit built up. Yeah. So I was like, fuck this. I'm going to go. It was terrible. Like, I played it for an hour, and I said, I can't, like, I can't put any more time in this. So somebody that I knew said, oh, yeah, you know, um, basically they owed me, owed me some money, and they're like, yeah, I'll buy you a game, whatever. I said, okay, Ark looks cool. Why don't you buy me Ark? <laughs> and I played it. I played it for an hour, and it was just complete shit. And I was like, okay, I'm good. Anyway. You know, you got you got Coach Red Pill in your chat screaming for blood. Why don't you bring him on? Let's hear what he's got. <laughs> he's saying we came here for fucking blood. Come on, Coach. Come drop the bands. Is that right? Uh, okay. 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 Right. How, coach. how about this, Coach Red Pill? Send me a message on Twitter, and I'll I'll bring you on. Why not? I want Why? that fucking Coach way. Coin payment. We're all behind. I want to point out how many kids did Coach Co- Coach said he had. Uh, yeah, four three by four from women. Three, women? I, I, no, three kids from four women. Three kids okay. from four women. Okay, okay. I'm just trying to get it. I'm just trying to get the lore straight here. The <laughs> map of that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh he, he's back and gone. Gosh, nope, no thanks, Jim. I suck at it. Yeah. Oh, he's fucking pussy. Oh. Jesus Christ. Oh, Talking man. shit and then, you know, can't coach, back it up. Coach, if Typical you don't come coach. on now, don't bother asking again. I'll, I'll just put that out there right now. If you're talking shit now and you don't come on, just don't. Just go away. Like, uh, come on, come on, have some fun. You can tell us how you can have 
three children with four women. <laughs> like, <laughs> this is the literal week ender. Like, if, if if you're talking shit and you will come on this, like, I don't know what to say. Well, then I, I want to know if I misheard that. Like, is, do you mean, like, one of them's a midwife, or was there some weird, like, egg transplant no. that happened? <laughs> no, he, he said it. I was there. He was It was on the after show. I was there, he and... Was- yeah, was I, that when he was fighting the quartering? Yeah. When they were having that money fight? Wait, yeah. Zidane, wait a minute. Are we, are we live right now? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me finish. Oh, Please let me finish. Uh, Universal Impurity says, JF equals just flee. Elizabeth Bathory says, Cantwell looks like a Muppet, LOL. Apple Fritter says, feet first is fine. It works both ways, Andy. Dan <laughs> Clortia says, Andy, you were just... Being disingenuous, you still are. Ryan MF says, I sent a fit, fi- excuse me, a five dollar super chat today, and JF did not read it. Is JF still here? I don't even know. I'm here. I sent uh, the, yeah. the googling out to CRP, he, he, but he's confused. Person, he's in the Discord. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's a boomer. I don't That's know what, what to I say, but that. this person in, in the yeah. super chat says they sent you a super chat worth five dollars and you didn't read it. Oh uh, yeah, there there are many super chats I don't read. I I need but to be wait, careful. But you just told me earlier that was a lie. I don't know. I mean, I, I read all super chats that come to me and that are not hate speech. But if there's uh, hate what, speech, what I does hate speech it. include? Anything that YouTube wouldn't ban. Oh, okay. They ain't banning it when they're taking their thirty percent cut. I think we're safe. They're pretty <laughs> well, they honestly, are. and I'm be honest, they're pretty lax. Like I, I just like. I, I still but I have to check little. myself much more than you because I have very interested people who Is want right? to strike JF, my channel. If you oh, look yeah. at the if you look at the numbers between me and you in the last three or four weeks, guess who is above you? I'm not talking about numbers, He's idiot. Not. Oh, I'm but, talking about oh, is that idiot? Oh, it's idiot now. <laughs> oh, it's idiot now. You seem upset. Wait, wait, guys, 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 guys. Are, are we live? No, Co, oh, shut the fuck up. Nobody's talking to you, <laughs> fucking son of a bitch. Shut up. Shut up. Nobody's, nobody's talking to you. Uh, don't, don't speak to me like that, you French faggot. <laughs> I'm just saying, if, if we're looking at the numbers in the last two or three weeks, I'm beating you. Ralph, are you a threat? To the, to the, to the Constitution of America. Neither are you, you midget fucking French fuck. I'm <laughs> not. You are right. But the ideas that I put on my channel, are maybe. They? Are they really? Oh yeah, I advocate every day for <laughs> the destruction of many countries. I I don't. No, a lot no, of people feel the same don't, thing, don't, don't, don't. I don't need backup on this. I mean, this is a joke. Like, I, I don't understand what you're saying here, sir. Oh, well, uh, okay, let me be clear. There are political agents who are interested in getting my channel struck. Oh, is that right? Well, guess political how many strikes I've gotten. And, and... Oh, yeah. I'm not saying, I'm not trying to take anything from you. I don't see how you took it personal like this. You're, you're a good no, guy. Oh, no, no. no you I don't, love you. No, you don't understand. Oh. Yeah, okay. You're good. You're good. Yeah, but yeah, I'm great. I have to be more careful than you. The, the threshold will be lower you for me than it is for you. much of an important but person, is that what you're saying? It's not the importance. It's that there are people who have decided that I'm a Nazi without me ever saying it. Let's, and they've decided listen. that I was a political enemy. These people are funded in the millions of dollars every day, uh, every year, by, by organizations like George Soros. No, let's let just me, go ahead and name no, him. Let's just go ahead and name wait, him. Hold on, hold on. All right. Let me say this. The same people you're talking about. I have been doing this thing for years and years. Um, it, it's not like I just came on the scene. Uh, I was doing streams years ago. I was doing blog posts years ago. It's not like, oh, Ralph just showed up. That's not the case at all. Um, I know, Ralph. I'm not saying you're new. I'm, I'm saying... Not. I mean, I'm absolutely not. Yeah. I'm saying there's not a bunch of Jewish people in a room frotting their hands saying Ralph Retart is a Nazi. So you're saying it's Jews now. So are, do you want to apologize to Patrick Little for what you said about him? Uh, I, what, what did I say wrong about Patrick Little? I have nothing to apologize for. He's a friend. And in fact, I've exchanged uh, messages two days ago with him. Well, I mean, what do you... Th- 
what do you think about him? I mean, I mean, your co-host kind of trashed him, right? I mean, I think that it is a legitimate opinion to say. Uh, I believe that Patrick Little's strategy was not ideal for the goals of the movement as seen by certain people in the movement that, that is the alt-right. And it's a legitimate idea that Lauren expressed when she said Patrick Little may have gone too hard on certain things. As a journalist, personally, I was very worried about his statements about electoral fraud, which are unsupported. Yeah, for I would, I, l- let me just cut you off. I agree. And I said that while I was on the air. Um, I mean, in terms of electoral fraud, I think that's ridiculous. Whatever. When you have, when you have, you know, less than two percent, you really can't go into the electoral fraud uh, arena. But I will say, um, w- what makes you say that he's? Um, I mean, he was never going to win in the first place in California. So, what makes you think? He's some disgraceful type of person, or he he really you know set us back or set the movement back. Um, in terms I don't of what say he was that doing. he's disgraceful, but you can argue from a strategic perspective that being so much into conspiracy theories, up to even having a, a conspiracy theory to explain his loss is not good for the movement because it decredibilizes anyone who's been interacting with him. Now people in the future can say, Jeff, why do you promote Patrick Little? Why do you have him on your show? He's making up false claims about electoral fraud. So I wanted to dissociate myself from these claims. That's it. What do you you think about having his material up on your channel? Uh, I had to delete one video from Patrick Little because he was uh, racially insulting toward Halsey. What do you say about Halsey? Uh, You want me to repeat it here and compromise your channel? I mean, if you could say it, (laughs) honestly... Meta, I can explain it in meta. Yes. He he suggested that the particular race (laughs) of the individual Halsey may have been linked to certain characteristics as it relates to his ability to tell the truth All or right. not. Uh, that's far enough. By the way, <laughs> you know what? His his stream that we did with him on Monday is still up on this channel. And I didn't take it down. Um, there are some things in that that made me think, you know what? It could easily be categorized as a YouTube strike just for keeping this up on the air. And the only reason that I kept it up on the air... Um, for one, you know, I have I have some of the same issues that he has, not to that extent. But um I felt like in our conversation, he didn't call for direct violence. He didn't, you know, break the the, you know, quote unquote contract to, you know, for his appearance or anything like that. He he didn't say we need to kill so and so or anything like that. And so I left it up. But there are certain points in there where it's like, uh, yeah, YouTube. By the way, the, the it's still up on the main channel, and it could get a strike at any moment. Like, just, just what he said about Zionists and Jews could be a strike at any moment, and I just left it up regardless. Um, I probably, oh, I'm right. No, well, I, I don't know that I'm yeah, saying you're right. I, I, I don't think I don't think that means you're right. I think it means that um, I, I I definitely think what he said should be allowed to stay up. But, um, I mean, no, but I'm right in terms of the amount of people monitoring you. You're saying that they they let one slide, yeah. They're definitely, they're definitely watching. I mean, I I can't, I can't lie on that. So, it's actually a miracle that we're able to have this stream (laughs) right here on this channel right now. I mean, we've had two strikes actually, what, two or three strikes within the last six weeks, and we got them reversed. Um, and that's, I mean, pretty rare. And so it, yeah, it is kind of amazing, uh, that we're able to have it on the air. Um, uh, and I just saw a comment, Ralph, you got to take that video down now. <laughs> you got to take the Patrick little video down now because people are going to mass report it. Yeah. You know what? I, it's already posted on the archive channel. So, um, but yeah. I don't know. It's it's kind of a it's kind of a weird dichotomy because um, you've been suspended on your main YouTube channel, correct? Oh yeah, I mean it's a three months uh, live stream suspension for 
a guest, a mediocre. That's the problem with my no. show. It's that I'm trained. I know exactly how to phrase things, but the guests are not. What did they, if you don't mind me asking, and you don't have to say exactly what they said, obviously, uh, but uh, what was the gist of what got you that strike? Uh, it wasn't the, the nuke a certain continent comment, as many people think. Yes. Uh, because nuking a continent can be argued to be a political strategy and a, a kind of policy. Why not nuke a given continent? <laughs> <laughs> so it was actually the other where she has simply expressed disgust at uh, the, the lady who was doing humor and she's half black and she was doing humor about Trump and it was very cringy. I don't remember who, is, who she is. Um, Michelle Wolf, is that it? Yeah, 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 it is. So she had a, she had a startled reaction when seeing her face. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what got you banned for three months. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you really honestly can't tell what it's going to be. Um, yeah. I mean, the Patrick Little thing, <laughs> like when I was doing the interview, uh, I uh, there was a couple points. I mean, what he was saying, he never advocated for violence or anything like that, but just, just some of the things he says, like, uh, this might give me a strike. But I left it up anyway. I'll probably take it down tomorrow, I'll be honest with you. It's, it's already on the Archive channel, but... So Ralph, did I did I hear him right? Uh, it was the Emily Yukas stream that got him a strike. Yeah. yeah. So it goes back to what uh, what Jim was saying that women ruin everything. <laughs> Just wanted to <laughs> fucking throw that out there. All right, you guys can continue. Maybe they do, Jim. But I'm I'm a jungler of the world. I want to jungle with the toughest balls. I, I'm I'm a Wait, wicked what? alchemist. I'm like a crazy scientist. I mix things that shouldn't be mixed together. So. Okay, this is a fair point. By the way, you know, our co-hosts are two males. Um, not that I've never had female co-hosts. I have. As a matter of fact, one of them I'm married to right now. Um, but uh, what, what makes you? What made you pick a female co-host versus just another, you know, male on your level? Well, um, with Lauren, it was more like a narrow in my heart. It was not so much like... It wasn't a planned. It was just I was impressed by her brain, and I wanted to uh, create an environment where it can express itself. I just was stunned by the quality of what she was bringing, and so it was like, okay, I'm in front of a super gold mine there, and so there was no other choice. It's not like I chose her against a male. It's it's more like she was so much standing out in terms of her delivery. Now the question was then understand our talents and our delivery and find a way to make it valuable in terms of the final product. So that's what I'm, I've been doing, which is find a way where our genius can express itself maximally on my show and lead to the biggest amount of shekels. <laughs> so I, I guess, I mean, there are a lot of people and, and they're expressing, the, excuse me, expressing themselves I've had a lot of tequila. Uh, forgive me. Uh, they are expressing themselves in this chat right now, and they say, I mean, I guess their point is you could replace her with almost anybody uh, and get the same result. So um, what what makes you stick with her, even in the face of adversity? Uh, well, these people are on the chat, and I'm here behind the mic, and I'm the one making money out of this. So... They can, they can make their own YouTube channel and try. But I'm telling you, Lauren, in terms of her delivery, is world class. I will repeat it, even if people mock me for saying this. She is really exceptional. And her points are extremely on, on target. She knows exactly what she's doing. And I've never had a professional relation that was as good as her. She understands really everything. All right, fair enough. Super Chats, Colin Stevens says, Drunk Andy has made JF look weak for thoughts. White Slave Honor says, Skyrocketing Super Chats today. Ralph, your guests are the YouTube shekel getters. <laughs> nice work. Oh, well. Sean Taylor says, Jim, you keep telling Andy not to look at metrics, and then you tell JF, look at the metrics. The people that really got upset are just angry incels. What do you say to that, Jim? 
I, I'm sorry. Say that again. I, I was a bit zoned out. No, I was looking I don't at the. Uh, I don't blame you. I'm zoned out too. Well, no, no. I'm just going through the wiki shit because the admins are flipping their shit. All right. What? Well, By we'll the way, I, I want to talk about the. Um, I can't even hardly go into it without Gator here, uh, but I, I want to talk about. The I'm shit. the resident, uh, resident uh, X file, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I want to talk. I want to talk about that too, and we are going to talk about that. But well, yeah, I, just, I don't want to interrupt the flow of the combo you got going. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, you want to just repeat it for me? Yeah, Sean Taylor says, Jim, you keep telling Andy not to look at the metrics, but then you tell JF to look at the metrics. The people that really got upset are just angry incels. Well, yeah, it's a little column A, a little column B. Everything in moderation, right? Uh, you don't want to be one to ignore metrics completely if you're trying to, like, if you want to go the influencer route, you don't want to ignore them completely, but at the same time, you don't want them to dominate your fucking life. I mean, it's like alcohol. Right? You don't want to be, so, you know, a, some fucking uh, Mormon and abstain from it because you think it's going to, you know, make your head fucking explode. But at the same time, you don't want to be a lush passed out in the gutter. You got to you gotta moderate <laughs> your intake of shit. <laughs> That's the best tip to give to young YouTubers. Smooth out your evaluation of the feedback. Smooth it out over months. Don't act on, on a single day. Don't act on a single week. Yeah, I, mean, I, I don't disagree with that. But you I, know whose opinion I want to hear on this? Whose? Because you muted him. And I think, I think he's got some oh, things oh, to oh, say oh, to you, oh, buddy. I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, God, you're right. Uh, fuck, how do I mute him? You're like, please, you, you tell the guy, hey, come on, come on, join the chat, man. And he finally joins the chat, yeah, and the moment, he says, right now. The no. moment he says something, you scream, <laughs> oh, he's trying to fucking, oh my god. Uh, somebody unmute him. I can't, I can't. Even... <laughs> like, Poor <literally>... coach. <laughs> we can hit the button so hard you can't unmute him. Can't. Right. <laughs> Only you can unmute him. It says ignore profile no. or present to everyone. Oh, uh, maybe. Oh, well, I can't unmute him. Well, he's not, like, actually blocked, blocked, so. No, that's not it. Hello, coach. No. Can you unmute yourself? Coach. Oh, my God. What is this? <laughs> you ended his presentation. What are you doing? putting me on the spot. <laughs> yes, thank you for that. Thank <laughs> you for presenting it. Mute him. You gotta. It, it's a, it be a Hello. There he is. There, there he is. That wasn't even me. <laughs> fuck off. Whoever the fuck did that? Fuck you. Oh. Oh. Are we live? Yes. Yeah. Fucker. <laughs> yes. Go ahead. What? I don't have anything to say. I mean, you had me muted. You well, know. Why I'm are like, you I'm... here if you have nothing to say? We can meet you again. <laughs> I told you I didn't have anything to say. You said get on, get on, get on. I huh? don't know what I said. Tequila. Whatever. Just, <laughs> just, just give your point. I don't have a point. I, you brought me. What do you want me to say? You brought me in here. I told you. I didn't. Wait a minute. How did I bring you in? It's a fucking Google Hangout. It's not even Discord. Like you, you literally had to join this. You, you were like heckling me, uh, you know, live and saying that I had to join and that was a, too much of a pussy okay, if I didn't okay, join. Okay, okay, fine. Okay. I joined. Okay. okay you know, I did not about junior high school shit. You know, coach, 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 coach. Fucking. Say all that's true, which I disavow. It is, yeah, and I disavow, by the way. But say okay, all fine. that's true. What do you have to offer here? What do I have to offer specifically as to regards to what? Just anything. What the fuck? Have you not been watching any of this? Like I don't, I don't even know. I'll, I'll take over for the tequila, Ralph. What he's asking <laughs> you is, what's what's your viewpoint on interaction with chat? Do you believe in in, in banning people? Do you believe in blocking people? Do you think? Uh, no, yeah, no, no. Let him move. I will say this for myself. Let him, I, I believe in tools, banning. Tools, no, tools, shut up, tools. coach. Fuck you. Oh I'm shit, man! You pull me on. You say talk, <laughs> and then I start to talk, and you shut me up. <laughs> shut up. What I believe in is no banning except for docs and the only reason i really don't care about the docs either uh but you know people are like oh you're allowing docs and oh how dare you i mean that's the only reason oh. i care about that um honestly I, I would just say free for all that would be my my position so yeah my, my position is the same. Uh, free for all except for two three things number one doxing number two adverts i mean like actual adverts well, not yeah, like, like complete spam yeah yeah of yeah. course yeah. and uh, and the third would be like uh some if somebody consistently posts stuff that would lead to a strike on the channel then yeah, that has true. got to go okay right, but if it's fair. if it's a one time thing that's an accident but if it's like a repeated thing the fucker's got to go you know yeah i don't uh, agree with that 
yeah, I'm that, sorry that to be intervening, point. but as the only one who's interested here in money and bringing in the shekels, you just receive a $75 super chat to ban Coach Red Pill. We're talking about a lot of money, Ralph. Oh, my goodness. Uh, by the way, this guy's already paid $75 to ban Coach Red Pill in the past. And the money is paid. already in the bank. Yeah, right. and, the, and the quartering paid for him to get unbanned. Yeah, quartering paid, oh, yeah. quartering paid 50 not 50 but $40 for you to get unbanned. Well, the, see, that's pretty fucking cheap, because wasn't quartering on a stream with uh, Coach Red Pill where he said, I'm a millionaire? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. He, he said that he was a bucks? What a cheap fucker. He should be paying five grand on Ben your ass the next time. Yeah, I, I agree. I completely agree. All right, coach, just, just peacefully sunset yourself so I don't have to throw you off. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're just going to have a bidding war to ban and unban coach now. Oh, yeah. That's that, literally that's... what's happening, but yes, go ahead, coach. <laughs> Okay, okay, this is what I, I have to say. You know, remember, Ralph, that time where, where we said that we'd split the money, the super chat, like in yeah, the future? Yeah, that that's not this time, though. Yeah, but I no, remember. No, 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 no. But in, into the future, yeah. uh, you know, I'd like that to be the case. And, All and right. you know, same place right. to last. Okay? Okay. Right. Bye, guys. All right. Farewell. <laughs> Take it easy, man. That's not this time, though. Yes. Jeff was the one that brought... Oh my god, what in the fuck? This show, I don't even know what's going on anymore. Ralph Retard. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's what it's turned into. Um, I'm looking at these, uh, I'm looking at the Super Chats. Uh, well, okay. Before you get into that, can I can I say honestly though? Yeah, with, just go ahead, like, I don't care. I don't with, care. with Coach Redpill, yeah, he is getting better. You remember when he first would pop on streams and he just completely fucking lost in the thickets of trying to shit talk and banter? Yeah. I mean, he has he has improved a bit. You've got now to give look, him that. You saw his segment with the quartering, right? Well, that was just a <laughs> dick measuring contest. Between that Megan. was insane. That's one of the most ridiculous things I've ever heard in my life. I've never heard two YouTubers say, I've got a million dollars. No, I went to Princeton. That was literally like the most ridiculous thing I've heard in the last 10 years. It was years. like Scrooge like, McDuck was... having a money fight. <laughs> 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 it was so fucking funny. I I, I don't even know uh, how to describe it. You know what? I feel like a fucking total piece of shit that I have to read all these. But I I'm thankful for them nonetheless. Uh, let me look. I'm trying to make sure. Tundra Theory says JF is simply a low thumos thumos. I don't know what that means. Uh, thermo. White knight baiting, white knighting beta trying to defend my lady. This low energy frog should get a fedora to match his Clarence rack jacket. Uh, Judicious Echo says she breathes, she a thought, and a thought's mouth isn't used to sp isn't used to speak. But thirsty froglets who sip slip into mental midgets might have different values. To be honest, Ozymandias says. JF, don't insult Lauren, but call Andy a cuck. Colin Stevens says, JF is being baked Alaska right now. Frederick White says, JF and Lauren Rose are losers. <laughs> the Bastard says, the sexual tension between JF and Andy is palpable. Matt Field says, JF is the potato version of David Pakman. Bolt <laughs> Slaws. I don't even know what that means. Twisted Puppet says JF is a sociopath. He's attempting to groom Lauren. <laughs> He's attempting to groom Lauren just like he tried to groom that girl from Texas. Custody battle. Jo all right, look, we're not going to go into all that. <laughs> um, Mike Hunt says she is 19 years old and criticizing a man that actually ran for office. What the fuck, JF? She called him a loser. What do you think about that, oh, JF? That, that this I mean, is a 19 this year is so old and she's, and she's criticizing a grown man. It's like. It's like suddenly, one week ago, people have wanted to bring back respect to the internet. <laughs> <laughs> have, I, have I been the only one listening to the TJ Kirks, to the Mr. Mitaker, to this constant stream of shit that the internet is? And now I have a community asking me to say, oh, Lauren, you've been a very bad girl. You've been talking to a Marine and you insulted him by calling him a loser. What the fuck is happening with the internet? You guys are fucking crazy. 
insults have always been a living part of the internet. You don't have to expose yourself to them, but I'm not going to become the moral authority imposed over Lauren. Baggots. But aren't you becoming the moral authority when you ban the criticism? No, because that's just isolating myself from them. I don't want to watch these criticism, but I, I, I encourage them to go make videos to, to start their own channel and s explain how JF is a white knight and try to gather a crowd and try to gather viewers. And maybe when they have 10,000 viewers, I'll go watch their video. I don't know about that, man. I mean, I don't know if you should be... Well, it, it, it's up to you. Like I said, I'm, I put my viewpoint out there on what I think. Uh, you know, I, I don't know if you shit, necessarily right? need. Yeah. I don't know if you need ten thousand viewers to be able to say I think this shit's retarded. Oh uh, yeah, you're right. They don't have ten thousand viewers, and their shit is retarded. So I'm, I'm just filtering, and I'm saying you. I don't want to hear from you anymore for the rest of my life. I mean, it's a decision, and I'm willing to to pay the price if these 30 people are so pissed that they, they never come back to my videos. Well, I just lost 30 audience, but w what what's wrong with it? And given the, the amount of plasticity in the audience currently, it's not like it's going to hurt me on the long run. Well, well, I mean, we'll see how it plays out. I mean, you could be right. We could be right. I have no idea. I mean, give it a month and we'll see what it looks like, I suppose. And, maybe and maybe, maybe she'll grow into her. Maybe she'll grow into a role. Maybe people will like her. I don't I have no fucking clue. And this goes back to a question you asked, but I didn't have time to answer. You said you're pulling a big Alaska somehow. Uh, essentially, what I'm telling back to you is, big Alaska started insulting his chat, and then he had he started claiming that he was hearing. Uh, God's voice, and then he started <laughs> having. <laughs> Did he say and that? then, and then he started having a co-host who has been photographing herself with met aluminum papers behind her while she was touching no, her wait, own. Jeff, Jeff, her you supported this oh, person. Me, you supported Aaron. You, you, you tried to make her a co-host on Warsi Live, and you actually celebrated when you thought she had peacefully sunset of my channel you 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 look at what i'm about to say uh, ralph it will answer all your questions all right, go ahead go ahead so back to alaska had a a co-host thought photograph herself while pulling goo from her own pussy and having a matte <laughs> aluminum paper in the background on her own self-published uh s on her own channel and by the way like uh, look like just be honest like you were sitting there you were right. laughing you I'm were laughing done. when you thought our channel was dead right i mean and I, i'm not gonna hold against you but just admit it right i'm not done the bet i'm making is that just insulting a part of the chat was not back Alaska's greatest error <laughs> I'm claiming that if my co-host doesn't get catch touching her own pussy with her fingers with a meth ed uh, aluminum paper in the background, Look, I don't care but about I might, that. Look, JF, I might pull a better back to Alaska than he did himself. JF, I don't give a fuck about all that. I'm saying when we got a strike, you put out a tweet, and by the way, I laughed at the tweet. I thought it was funny. Um, that I always said Aaron had potential, but but. <laughs> But that, like, you actually enjoyed us getting the strike, right? Like, it's not even a question, correct? Oh, I wait, mean, I, I'm not. Well, this was related to a strike. I was not aware. No, oh, don't. Come on. So, are you telling me that the Aaron thing was related to a strike? Yeah, I, I, I got really a strike. It's, come on, JF, come on. Ralph, I'm autistic and I don't care about uh, the, the drama saying stuff. You didn't know when, I didn't when know. we did the Aaron stream and we got the strike and I couldn't stream on my channel for you know a couple of days and there's been a strike since then. That was the first strike. Um, that, that you didn't know anything about it. You, you didn't know. No, I just learned it uh, a minute ago. I, I thought it so was. You put uh, out the I thought tweet the... you said. I always said, uh, and by the way, I'm paraphrasing because I don't have the exact tweet, but you said always, you know, basically I always said, you know, Aaron had some value or Aaron was worthwhile. You're, you're saying that, that you didn't know at that point. When I, when I said that tweet, I thought that the, the picture that emerged from her, I didn't know it was related from Ralph Retard. I thought it was just circulating on Twitter. So you weren't celebrating us getting taken I was down. not celebrating you having a strike. Of course I wouldn't. Okay. All right. Well, I, mean, I don't know. 
I now I'd like to say, I'd like to start this. a conspiracy theory. I would just say this. Knew. I would just say this. It seemed like you were, and but I I didn't. Okay, all right. I mean, if the man says he didn't, what can you say? But it did. It did. It did definitely seem like you were. Um. We, Jesus Christ, these these. Super uh, so can, can we go back to the the bake thing? So uh, hearing the voice of God, I I heard he changed his fucking little uh, dinger for his super chats, and now that's fucking blessed. Yeah, he did. Uh, so he, he's, he's got a he's got a new fucking persona now, right? He's gonna milk the religious. Is that his new shtick? Yeah, that's uh, his blessed thing. Alaska. That's his thing. Blessed Alaska. Blessed Alaska, really? <laughs> no shit. Yeah, that's exactly the truth, though. And I, you know what's funny? And as I went into his chat, and I was just, you know, shit posting, whatever. And he said, "You know what? I forgive all these people that were talking shit, or you know, I forgive you. I forgive you." That was his main thing. And I said, "You know what?" And I was in the chat, and I said, "I forgive you too. I forgive you. Just come on the kill stream." Basically, I wanted to come on so we could laugh at him, but. Uh, I said, you know what? Well, I guess uh, that that Andy Worski plan of yours just blew up because <laughs> you live streamed you saying that, so I don't think he's ever coming no, now. It, but look, he wasn't gonna come on anyway. But I said, you know what? I forgive you. It's all good. And then later on that evening, he said, you know, Ralph's the lowest of the low. He's he said I was a culture vulture, which I had to Google. I mean, I, what, the, what does that even mean? A culture vulture. Uh, basically means you're like obsessed with the arts. You know what I mean? Um, what? Yeah. <laughs> I've never heard you talk about Picasso. <laughs> what the fuck yeah, is you talking about? Baked Alaska would definitely not qualify as the arts. Uh, culture vulture. Here's the definition from Google: a person who is very interested <laughs> in the arts, especially to an obsessive degree. Uh, and that that's the definition of a culture well, vulture. Well, Ralph, I mean, you can clear that up right now. How many times did you watch that uh, lip shit from California shove SpaghettiOs <laughs> over content? Do you remember that fucking video? <laughs> yes, I do. And uh, no, not enough to qualify as a culture vulture. <laughs> you didn't appreciate her artistic ability to use her front muscles to hold the SpaghettiOs in before no, she quit. No, out not fucking... really. No. no. <sighs> I never I... saw this video. Did she spill spaghetti everywhere? <laughs> Yes, she did. Well, she shoved it up her pussy and then squirted it out. She queefed it all over a fucking painting. Oh, my God. In front of a room full of people, a bunch of soy boys all clapping. Oh, that's so that's so great. Oh, my God. This is so artistic. Oh, shit. Hey, Corinne, we've got a new job for you. Oh, the spaghetti is going to come out blue. Well, there we go. It, it, it's called uh, somebody in chat. Thank you, chat, by the way. It's called Interior Semiotics. S-E-M-I-O-T-I-C-S. I think it's still up on YouTube, by the way. How is that on YouTube? <laughs> dude, dude, there's a video up on YouTube right now that's nine years old of a tranny inflating their balls with saline, and there's no blurring or anything, and it's been up for nine fucking years. Inflate them to the size of a fucking basketball, sitting there playing them like bongo drums, talking about how progressive it is. What the fuck? How? <laughs> all right, all right, look. not been destroyed look, yet. We say me, one word. Let me finish these, and I actually want to get Jim's take on some stuff he's been tweeting about that I, I really don't have the full, like... How about um, Gator knows? Yeah, Gator knows. Exactly. That that was basically the, the idea there. Uh, Ozzy Mon- <laughs> Ozymandias says, JF, don't insult Lauren, but call Len... Excuse me, Andy A. Cuck... Calling Steven says JF is being baked Alaska right now. Frederick White says JF and Lauren Rose are losers. The Bastard says the sexual, te- sexual tension between J- JF and Andy is palpable. Matt Fields says JF is the potato version of J- <laughs> David Pacman bought slaws, which I don't know what that means. Twisted Puppet says JF is a sociopath. He's attempting to groom Lauren just like he tried to groom that girl. Oh, like, Whatever, I'm I'm not gonna get into all that. Look, if you want to talk shit about JF and I don't know, I, I'm not gonna get into the like personal stuff. Mike Hunt said she is a 19 year old and criticizing a man that actually you already, ran you already read that one. You already read that one. Okay, okay. Jim has spoken. Gas all women and grow all future babies in <laughs> in test tubes. Any that de- deviate from the XY chromosome will be aborted immediately. Did I read that one? I don't think so. Yeah, no, see, Ralph, now your chat wants to see these videos. You know, I, I am planning on going over to 
is it Flexstorm? What the fuck is the name of the site? Flexstorm. Flexstorm, yeah. You guys should come with me when I do the first stream, and we'll watch the YouTube videos oh, that no. we couldn't stream here. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> I, you know, you already know I'll be there. Like, whatever. Well, you, um, you want to? Like, one of you guys yeah, can run sure. the whole setup, make it look fancy. We'll go over there and we'll watch sure. it. Because there's, there's one video that's still up on YouTube, and if you look it up, it's TJ Kirk and CNN. It's somewhere in there. It's buried in there. And they spliced together his CNN interview with his... Uh, videos of him pouring hot oil over his dick. Oh no. And that's that's been up for like four years. There's yeah. some great fucking hidden gems up on YouTube that sure. are just tucked away. We'll, we'll have to make a nice I nice. I will be there and it's not stuff. because you know I absolutely love Plexstorm. I just want Look, I, I, and you know, we talked about it. You know, you're somebody described it as Mr. Meadow Porn. Uh, you know, on our, you know, when you came on, I guess it was two or three weeks ago. Uh, but yeah, I mean, there's. Look, there's all kinds of things that I wish I could say and content I wish I could comment on that you're just not able to on YouTube. Well, and, do you remember the uh, the gay Canadian guy that did a music video and he was like, yeah. there was like, there was a part of the video I think was rimming each other and like there was no <laughs> censoring or anything. Yeah. And that, that was up for like four weeks and got like a million plus views before <laughs> before YouTube was like, okay, maybe eating shit out of some guy's ass is a step. <laughs> too far but on that you know what i'm saying right like it's it just it's just the principle of the thing like there's so much content and and uh stream up by the way i was talking to you a couple weeks ago and i was trying to remember the site where you could just stream anything and do anything and it was stream up that was the name of the site stream up um and you could do whatever the fuck you wanted of course it it didn't last that long because they shut it the fuck down um, but yeah, I would be totally down on Plex Storm. I don't give a fuck. I really wish, and I've seen a couple mainstream articles, um, like in terms of Pornhub taking it over, like really getting out there and, uh, you know, hosting people that you well, see that, that makes me worried. Cause like Pornhub's big, right? So yeah, I'd be yeah, worried yeah. that if, if they, if they took it over, that they'd be more concerned about copyright shit. Yeah, and, maybe. And but, hate speech, but Plexstorm's so little that they're like, we want viewers, so I think they'll let you do pretty but, much fucking anything. Yeah, I agree with that. I agree with that, but, like, I don't know, I guess which one's gonna last longer. You know, you know, at least Pornhub has the, the infrastructure. Um, I, I don't know. I'm, da I'm down for either one, like, honestly, because, um, and, and it's, it's not like you can't do the, the things you normally do on YouTube and, and otherwise. You can still those do those things, but... Um, just to have oh my god, imagine how great it would be to have, uh, this is the only time a woman on a stream would work, <laughs> to be on Plexstorm or on Pornhub and to have a chick bouncing up and down on like a, a Sibian or a dildo as she read your super chat. See, my enthusiasm for a woman on stream is contagious to Mr. <laughs> Mr. Only I'm just talking. Hold on. Only when hold I do on. Things. Just going for it. it. The bigger the donation, the bigger the dildo. See, that's how it works. <laughs> All right. So, so JF, when is when is Lauren gonna start bouncing on the Sibian? Uh, I cannot take sexual commitments for other All people. Right, right. I apologize. I apologize. I apologize. I withdraw the comment. Excellent. <laughs> See, we're, we're teaching respect and we're learning respect. Exactly. And everyone in the I chat learns how uh, not to insult people. Actually, it wasn't an insult. It was just for a joke. But but I, <laughs> I withdraw the comment nonetheless. How about that? That's fine. Right. I love you, Ralph. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good deal. Thank you, sir. Oh, it's it's all about love here on the, the kill show. Oh shit! Here we go. Oh, yeah. Short, short. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh, this has been a, a fun little stream, but you didn't cover half the shit you were gonna cover tonight. No, I honestly no, did not. We covered one. <laughs> we covered one, one exact event, but you know what, Gator? Gator, are you still here? Please say yes. I am definitely still here. Okay. Can you do the, like, just to make it where there's another topic besides the one we talked about? Yeah, so I guess we could go into the uh, the SCP shit yes, from earlier. Yes, you actually know, like, a yes. fair bit about it, and you can talk about it and, and, and set it up for Jim, right? So I feel, you know, it's appropriate being this is a late night stream, uh, coast-to-coast-esque. 
So, for those who browse the 4chan board X back in the day, there were a series of things called creepypasta. I'm sure everybody knows what the fuck that means. So I'm not going to explain what a creepypasta is. But in that, there was a particular series of creepypasta about a, sh a shadowy organization that's collecting people, artifacts, and things that have strange powers or abilities. And that's what led to the Secure, Contain, Protect Foundation. And so they took all these stories that people were creating on X and they put them up on a wiki on a centralized website so that people could edit them, they could upload them, create their own stories. Each SCP has a different number. Well, apparently the SCP Foundation wiki has been taken over by trannies and, and uh, the gay, and they're seeking to get rid of anybody that uh, is willing to criticize their, their life decisions. Oh, they're, they're not even seeking to do it. They've fucking done it. I was, I was reading through all the discussion pages and like their forum and shit. And when you're reading what the admin comments are, uh, they're saying shit like, uh, basically, fuck 4chan. Uh, we don't care about the wider community. <clears throat> we want to get rid of everything that's toxic. We're exclusively inclusive. Um, if you don't agree with us, you don't have a place here. All, all this political shit, all this sexual liberation shit, and again, it's a fucking wiki for needs to write spooky, scary skeleton stories on. So it, it makes no fucking sense. Like, there's a there's an SCP... Okay, to give you an idea, right, just imagine some shitty creepypasta that you've encountered. And instead of that, they've they've put up other stuff, like a tranny self-insert or insert SCP about a rogue satellite that becomes agendered and transsexual on Earth, and opens up a Tumblr blog. Or making other characters gay, or putting in pronouns, or banning people because they don't toe the line. It's some fucking crazy shit that's going on at that fucking website. And apparently it's been going on, the Purge has, for like two years, as far as back as I can trace it. I'm noticing every, that everybody went dead silent. Well, fuck you all. I'll make it entertaining <laughs> when I do. <laughs> well, I noticed that they had added a lot of very strange SCPs. Um, I, I per perused the wiki occasionally just because I lurk on X and people bring up shit. And so I'll notice that it's just the weirdest, poorly written shit that they're coming up with. And they're creating these like self insert characters as researchers and scientists. And it's always some dumb Mary Sue that's, you know, taken the, the SCP that changes their sex and they're, they're empowered. And, and yeah, by the way, the, the, uh, what did you think of the furry SCP, the one that turns you into a furry? That was probably one of the gayest things ever written on any website ever written. Yeah, promoted, promoted on their official Twitter account. And yeah, they ban you too. If you talk shit to their fucking uh, Twitter account, they ban you instantly. They don't take, even if it's light criticism, they fucking ban you immediately. So, I get, so that means that one of them uh, is running that Twitter account. Or got oh, oh, guaranteed. Um, I, I oh, would they're say... protected now. Oh, are they? Are yeah, they? they're protected now. They weren't like an hour ago. Yeah, they had a joke. Uh, like They'll do joke articles occasionally where they take it with a J so you know it's not a real fucking article. It's just for a laugh. Mm -hmm. uh, they did a joke article about uh, a fucking doorknob that made people get incredibly horny. And in the fucking conversation, they go into sexual harassment talk about how it's not okay to objectify it even though it's an object. And how it's icky and wrong and the doorknob isn't consenting. That's how far gone they are. <laughs> I saw that earlier. I was like, are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, it's some, it's a, some, it's some sad shit. There's an SCP for basically like super good weed, but... Making jokes about a sexually attractive doorknob is, 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 is that's the line. That's the limit. I don't know. I don't think I don't think your chat's digging this. Let's move on to Twitter's pause community. What were you gonna what is that? We were, but the guess who is this bug chasing? Had. Are we talking about yeah, basically. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, Daddy fuck flu. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, I want that hot pause load up my tight little <laughs> ass. Yeah, okay. All right, let's see. Um, been getting lots, <laughs> been getting lots of follow up from early February. It's as close as you get to instant gratification. Paused in 2018, and this is a screenshot, and it says, "By the way, you did it." And it says, "What? I tested pause. Really? You think it was me?" And the dude says 99%, and the other guy says, hell yes, congrats. Now, 
And by the way, there's other screenshots on this. And we oh, do any of them but... involve toothbrushes? Because those are the best ones. No, I don't <laughs> think so. No, I mean, we can go through all these, but what do you think about the whole I want to catch AIDS <laughs> type? Like, yeah, that's basically what all What the fuck? I, I don't understand. Yeah, I already did a video on it. I mean, I, I've talked about gift givers uh, like four or five months back. And yeah, they're active on Twitter. People like to pretend like it's, oh, it's some old shit or their troll posts and uh, none of that's real. But these these fuckers are on social media begging to get uh, fucking infected by a super dangerous fuck flu. Like they want you to take that toothbrush and just make them bleed. Yeah, I, it's, it, yeah you did a video well, a couple months back. But yeah, this stuff is, it's nuts. So why do these people even think this is like, why do they even want to do this? It doesn't make any sense. It's so, like AIDS? You're fucked for life. But see, look, and, no, and it's they not give necessarily, it look, I mean, I know people will say, oh, you have AIDS, you're fucked for life. But if you can say you're homosexual and you have AIDS, you will have all kinds of government benefits and you know, I, I'm. No, I'd I mean, rather... I, I'm just. I'm just being honest with you. Like <laughs> you will have all types of government benefits, and you will probably live a good life. To be honest with you, a good life. <laughs> these these fuckers have been doing this shit for a decade and a half. On the, I mean, it's not like some new trend. No, hey, it you know started saying, all the way though, back. Right? Like, like, no. it's, it's not. It's not. You just you trying just, to do just this. have a kid and do the same thing instead of having AIDS. Like the fuck, you get good benefits. What kind of reasoning is that? It's well, just the, that, the best part is the California law change because now it's not illegal to be a gift giver. That's insane. That's no, but these guys do it willingly, right? So it's it's not the same. It's um, not just willingly, but they're actually trying to cultivate a super strain that cannot be hey, medically. Hey, you know, look at that. We started talking about AIDS infected dick and no, 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 no. Right back <laughs> in. Uh, back in. Very funny, very funny. No, actually, I wanted to contribute one th one thing really quick. The thing that has me fucking freaked out is the anti-contact group. Have you guys seen that shit on Twitter? The and just look up anti-contact. It's basically pedophiles who think it's okay to be pedophile so long as there's you know anti-contact. It just seems creepy as fuck to me. I mean, I I, I just it just deeply, deeply is disturbing to me. I mean, it's sort of like adjacent to what you guys are talking about, but it's just, you know, the positivity thing, frankly, I think that if, if two crazy fucking adults want to do it, fine, you know, I don't give a shit. But the anti-contact, well, we're fucking pedophiles, well, that's what they are. That is driving me up the wall. I just wanted to drop that by and say that, and I'm leaving, okay? Mm. Oh, okay. I didn't, haven't looked at it at all, didn't even know about it. Um, so I guess I'll look into it, I guess, now. Okay. If I'm gonna have to go, uh, Blood Talker, your mod seems to have been gone to sleep, and actually I was not here to talk to you guys, I was just here to impress her. <laughs> so there's no more what? function in what? this what? thing. Wait, what? Uh, because you have, a, you have a very sexy moderator, Blood Talker. Oh, and she, she's gone, she's not on the chat anymore, so I'm gonna So that's the only reason you were here, because of her? Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Later, Jeff. Right, bye, bye, guys. Take it easy. Ralph, you are drunk as shit right now, aren't you? That is true. Yes. <laughs> I mean, what, what, okay. Say I wasn't drunk. Say I was completely sober, which I'm not. But say I was completely sober. <laughs> he just <laughs> he just came on and said. I'm only on the stream to impress a whore. I, I'm pretty sure he was just joking and he, he was, was just joking. taken off for the night. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he, he was messing I mean, with You don't want to see. Maybe, sure. I, maybe I shouldn't say whore, but. Uh, he was he, messing with us. That's it. He was, was he? Yes! I don't know. Come on. I, yeah. I think he was joking about it. He was 100% joking. Alright, maybe. You're ready to fight his ass, aren't you? <laughs> he is, he is, he's, about he's, he's about to drop fists. No, nah, it just it just seemed like Don't vent this on him. It just seemed like a, a gratuitous a remark. I, I don't it's know. A it's a joke. That's what it sounded like to me. It sounded like a 100 percent joke. Alright. Whatever. I, I think it might be time to start trying to sunset the stream. I'm gonna sunset it's pretty hot. you, motherfucker. I'll agree with Jeff. I'll agree with Jeff one thing. She's pretty hot though. Uh, I hate. L let me just put this on the record. 
I hate both of you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we know. Yeah, we know. we know. You already know. <laughs> All right, good. I'm glad. I'm glad that's on the record. Oh, jeez. Ah, oh, there's some moments of silent here. Any of you guys got that Viva La Rasa shit Please queued stop. up and ready to go? <laughs> Please stop. Are we going to hit that? Are we going to get that? You know what? You know what? Yeah. I used to laugh and say, oh, God, how could they play v Viva La Rasa? You know, time and time again. I'm starting to see that. I'm, I'm actually... <laughs> I, I'm I'm starting to understand. Not not to say that it's right, but uh, I I can see I can see it now. Um, <laughs> the benefits of, yeah. of just smacking the I'm button. Just hitting Viva La Rasa. Doesn't even matter what's going on. Just just fucking hit it. Yeah, I can Viva understand. La Rasa. <laughs> <laughs> just once. Yeah, just once. Like I, I can actually, you know what. I can understand it. How about this, Jim? While you're here. Yeah. yeah. It's a complete farce, as it always is. But, uh, uh, you did a lot of streams on E3. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. uh, I love video games. I don't get to play as much as I wish I could. But, um, I was watching you when the, uh, Resident Evil 2, um, kind of reveal came out. And when the <laughs> Kojima, <laughs> whatever the fuck that was, came out. Uh, what did you think about E3, and uh, what are your thoughts on, I guess, just whatever, video games in the future? I, I don't know. I mean, there were a few games that I, I was interested for, like uh, Cyberpunk 2077, uh, yes. the Resident Evil 2 remake, uh, the three three Asian titles that are coming out, the Ghost game, uh, the other one Microsoft displayed, and then Square's attempt at like a Square Soul game looked kind of good. Uh, but like on a whole, it was a lot of shit. I mean, it was kind of fucking boring from everybody. Nintendo was, was awful. It's like 30 minutes of uh, Smash and two games. I don't know Nintendo what the fuck they were doing. It was disappointing as fuck. Like, I, I'm just not even gonna... Like, it was just bad. Yeah, yeah I, I only gave them a, a decent grade on the little report card thing, because I, I, the majority of people, I'm guessing, that own Switches want fucking Smash, so... Oh, yeah. I mean, they, they did give them what they wanted, so you, I guess you can't bitch too much about it, but... Um, it, it just was kind of a disappointing year all around. Um... Some of the shit was okay, but the majority of it, it wasn't even, there weren't even a lot of great moments. Uh, E3's kind of losing its fucking luster, I guess. Ubisoft. Nintendo honest. didn't give the people what they really wanted, and that was Waluigi as a playable character in Smash. Yeah, I saw that on Twitter. Yeah, but they did too. give him Ridley. I mean, shh. So, yeah, they finally gave him Ridley after a bajillion years. Yeah, and then Fallout 76 is a fucking mess. Oof, yeah. I don't know how that's going to I can't wait to nuke somebody's meth hut. Because well, didn't they say that there are no fucking NPCs? Yeah, everybody is a player character that you see. That's what that's what they said. So I don't and it, they, they also said there was only like 14 people in an instance. So you got 14 <laughs> characters and a couple of robots to give you fetch quests. Like, yeah. what the fuck? And then it's four times bigger than Fallout 4, so it's ginormous. Well, according to them, it's huge. So it's a lot of empty space then with no people. Ralph, are you getting chastised for being too loud? No, I heard somebody say some they can hear you or something like that in the background. I'm perfectly fine. Yes, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so I don't know how that's gonna work. Also, I, I remember Todd in that presentation saying that you could play it offline and then online, or like single player and then well, and then top into multiplayer. So couldn't you just farm yourself up single player with no, with not worrying to get without worrying that, like people are gonna kill you, come back up when you're like uber powered and just wreck everyone I, it's it's like some I mean, it's almost like a minecraft approach but even more boring i don't know what the fuck they're gonna do in that game it just it doesn't it's not a proper fallout and yeah. i don't have any fucking hope for how it's gonna be playing with it's, other people i'll just skip online. it it's solo online not single like, not, not awful it, but yeah I it mean, really is just fallout battle royal yeah it means you can just play without you know, other people there. Yeah, but doesn't that, I mean, since it's always online, even in single player, doesn't that fuck modding? I mean, this is kind of like oh, Diablo 3 no or SimCity when they did that shit. There's no mods. It's only cre the Creation Club, probably, where they make you pay for it. Can you get that fucking horse armor? Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, but Nintendo's, Nintendo's was awful. Smash, Fortnite, and a trailer for Fire Emblem, and I think that was it. Yeah, I think the only And then Octopath Traveler, which we already knew was coming. Yeah, but that's only on yeah. Switch. So, can't get that. Um, the only games that really looked good were the Sony ones. Um, yeah, Sony Sony had a really weird fucking start with the banjo shit and the white guy playing a flute. 
like, dressed up as Raiden. Like, I don't know what the fuck that was about. I knew yeah. Tumblr would flip their shit, and they did. Uh, um, yeah, that was pretty funny. I'm not gonna lie. I, it, then they had the gratuitous Jewish lesbianism, and then yeah. the cringiest uh, um, one was Ubisoft. The fucking gay panda in the beginning. Gay dancing oh, see, I, panda. I, I, did, I didn't even fucking uh, hear that. Is that true? Are they going to have microtransactions in this shit? In uh, Fallout 76? Yeah, probably. Oh. They said they they said they were going to have microtransactions, but it was, quote, only going to be uh, costume-based. It has nothing... It's going to be... It's mm-hmm. not going to be, like, po- power weapons and things. Okay. So but in a server with 14 people, you're going to buy a costume to show 13 other people the $5 <laughs> outfit you bought. Yeah. Pretty much, yeah, that's their whole strategy. Good thinking, Todd. All right. <laughs> people will buy it. You know people are going to buy it. Oh, they'll eat it up. Yeah, no, they'll they'll make it a fucking game of the year. Yeah, I have no doubt that's going to happen. Fucking people are already pre-ordering it. I'm like, uh, bro. Port of the Deluxe Pip-Boy Dildo Edition. Yeah, basically. I think uh, uh, So Todd can fuck you in the ass. R- Ralph, he had two other things listed here. I guess I'm behind the, the curve on oh, some of the shit. What's, what's Manafort to jail? What is that? Uh, Manafort, Paul Manafort, who was an advisor to... Um, actually, he wasn't just the advisor. I think he was the chairman of Trump's campaign. He was. Uh, when he was running for president. And uh, he is headed to jail because his bail was revoked. And they said, you're going to jail. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know what to say. When they revoke your bail, you're going to jail to do a rhyme there. And so that was uh, uh, the main thing. I, I guess Trump could... <laughs> You sound so burnt out. Maybe we should just call no, it a... No, look, Trump could settle all this with a pardon. And but matter of fact, I think actually... In the end of the days, he will settle it. Like, it's just a pardon because... Oh, no, he is. Because, he's going to pardon all these people because... I, I, I know. If not, he's probably going to go to prison. I mean, I, I don't know what else to say no. because... No, no, no. It's not even no cover for Trump. Like, if he doesn't pardon these people, he's probably going to go to prison. Like, it, I, don't, just, I don't think he's going to go to prison. Yeah, I do. Gonna, I do. I do. If he doesn't pardon these people, he's going to go to prison. Manafort's going to jail for things he did like 20 okay, years Okay, yeah. Well, guess what? Matt, Manafort has a lot of dirt on Trump. And so does Michael Cohen. And they're both, like, right oh, in have. the crosshairs. And if... <laughs> I guarantee you... Listen to me today, and what is what what is today? Let me let me drag my mouse. Sixteenth of June. Today is the sixteenth of June. Both of these people who will be pardoned by the president of the United States. Period. Oh no, I I hundred percent agree. But no, I'm, I'm just telling you right now, as that. we stand, I know. both of these people Rudy. will be pardoned by the president of the United States. Wow. Rudy Giuliani it. already said that that's basically going to happen. I don't care what the fuck that faggot said. I'm telling you what I said <laughs> right now. Both of these people will be pardoned. I know. I agree so, with that. So, like, it's just whatever. I mean, it's still... It's, he's already he's already tipped his hat saying that he was going to do that. I mean, it's still, like, considering some of the things we've seen in the last 10, 15 years, that, that they really want to lock, lock up Paul Manafort. I mean, it's kind of crazy to be honest. Yeah, because they have to lock up half of Washington because they do all the same shit. Yeah, because you're talking about foreign lobbying and like... That's bullshit. It's bullshit. So-and-so is suddenly illegal. Like, yeah, it is bullshit, but... It's it's illegal when when somebody you don't like does it, but it's illegal when somebody you like does it. It's also bullshit. The issue I have with this is that they sent him to jail literally for no reason. They charged him... They charged him... um, initially on the financial charges and then so he was on home confinement in virginia he had to wear that special electrical bracelet he never violated the terms of his bail that piece of shit Mueller decided to charge him with witness tampering uh which made no sense because he didn't do anything and so then the judge decided to revoke the bail because Mueller decided to charge him with something else that's literally the only reason they did it Mm -hmm. and the only reason they're sending him to jail is basically to tell trump we dare you to pardon him yeah yeah, you're probably, yeah, I, I agree with that. Gator. That makes per- 100% that sense. That is true, and from every I, single media report I've read, it's true. Frankly, I just want to see Mueller, Comey, Rod Rosenstein, Jeff Sessions. I want to see all of them thrown under the jail. Because we're not just talking about run-of-the-mill political hackery in these departments. We're talking about outright treason at this point. <laughs> You're trying to bring down the United States government because you're mad 
that Queen Bitch didn't win. That's that's mm-hmm. the whole point. I think you would rather Ross. destroy the very fabric of the United States and the intelligence community because you're mad that the dumbest political candidate to have ever run for office this did stupid to, things. Look, it's not even about intelligence. Hillary was terrible. Like, this is a terrible candidate. Imagine that you can't beat Donald Trump. And, and, I, know, and I know people love Donald Trump now, whatever. Like, just imagine... Just think about the things that Donald Trump has against him. And, you know, one of the two major major political parties with all their money, all their, you know, wherewithal, whatever you want to call it, can't defeat this person. Like, it's just, how bad are you? Like, how bad is your party? How bad is your, you know, doctrine? It's just, it's hard to even think about. Like, I don't know. Like, you can blame whoever you want. You can, you know, say racism, what have you. But you just sit here and think about, like, Donald Trump. Donald Trump! Just just think about everything we know about Donald Trump. Personal-wise and how that would take down, you know, nine times out of ten any other candidate. Um, and it's just, okay. I, I don't know. It's just, you have to be a completely horrible, just... It, almost a despicable person to lose against this. Like, I, it's, that's not even saying Donald Trump's a great person because he's not, but just, I don't know. It's, it's insane. Yeah, so well, that's basically what Matt went to jail for. Oh, uh, you got one last thing, Salon Nuttery. What, what is that? Oh, come on. You already know what it is. You tweeted about it. Oh, is it the same thing? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, they do crazy yeah. shit every other fucking week. So it's hard to keep track of fucking <laughs> the lot. Okay, so since you brought it up, why don't you introduce it? <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> So Salon uh, released an article saying if you didn't like somebody's politics, especially if they're a family member, you should defoo them. And if you don't know what <laughs> defooing right. is, uh, that was a Molyneux term for basically uh, almost a, a cult-like break with anybody that uh, you disagreed with. No, you don't financially help them, emotionally support them. You don't have any fucking contact with them uh, just because they voted for Trump. And like this is a serious article that these idiots put out talking about how you should just cut contact completely. And the best part is the last sentence in the paragraph where they're talking about breaking contact, where they say, if you if you do this, make them basically grovel through words and actions to show that they're apologetic enough for having voted for Trump, uh, that you will take them back into your life. Yeah, actually, the final part was the best. Hold on. Let, let me pull this up, by the way. <laughs> the final part look the whole thing is ridiculous first off and I've been a big like I don't know supporter or whatever proponent whatever you want to call it of okay look me and Jim and Zidane and whatever who the ever the fuck comes on the show can sit here and argue and laugh and talk shit about each other or whatever but that's what it is you know I, I don't say oh my family member do- doesn't agree with this and I can't talk to them anymore That that's not a position that I would ever want to take like it's kind of despicable to me at least to say this person doesn't agree with me politically so I can't fuck with them personally like I, I don't know I, me personally I, I'm, I'm just not comfortable with that with that I don't, I don't know how to say it so um the United States Constitution grants <laughs> President Donald Trump many powers. They include being the chief executive, chief legislator, and commander in chief of the military. Not to be content with such powers, Donald Trump has also taken on other roles as well. Donald Trump is the sadist in tr- <laughs> the sadist in chief of the United States of America. Cruelty and meanness are his modus operandi. Is it really? I don't know. In his I, uh, I I don't know, Ralph. Before before you you, you kill the kill stream and sunset it. Nah, would come you on. would you would you give the chat a sobriety check and say tongue twister? Would you say Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers? Would you say would you say that five times? Uh, now let me ask you this. Yeah, go ahead. You said you smoke camel ninety nines. Yeah, camel ninety nines. Yep. <laughs> How long can you hold your breath? 
Uh, I don't know. Uh, three seconds if I'm lucky. Smokers are. Do you smokers wanna, are, should we have a contest? <laughs> sure. Well, well uh, <laughs> you, I don't know how drinking is going to make you not hold your breath better. <laughs> like, oh, my God. No, no, let's have a contest. Who can hold their breath longer? Okay. I, okay. Uh, one of uh, your co hosts want to count us down, and I guess at go, we'll hold our breath. <laughs> what is happening? I don't fucking know. Oh. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. You know. All right. So, three, two, one. <sighs> this is great. 13, 15, 15, 16. Oh my god, this is actually happening. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 22, 23, 34, 35. They might be dead. 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 8, 29. You know Jim's not even fucking holding his breath. He's just laughing at this. <laughs> I'm still holding my breath. Yeah, I think you're the only one. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> like, you legit are the only one doing it. I don't care. 60. One, two, How much of that bottle do you have? <laughs> uh, and there it goes. Alright, fuck you. <laughs> you know what? You fucked me up. <laughs> I was on. I don't even know how many seconds. I, I was. I was close. Like, look, dude. I walked was away way, laughing. I think. Yeah, I was way down that fucking path, and you fucked me up. God damn it! You can done. What's the time? God damn, about 60, mother! About sixty-eight you seconds. Like, man, you know what? You think you you think you have friends? Like Jim <laughs> said it. Jim tried to tell me internet friends never trust them. <laughs> Fucking snake, motherfuckers. So, so Jim, I got that co-host spot, right? <laughs> <laughs> snake ass motherfucker. I'll, I'll tell you what, Ralph. I'll give you a rematch. Count us out again. No, you're serious. Look. I'll beat you. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, no, no, wait, wait. Tell me when we're on. Uh, I'm kind of count down. No, 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 wait. I, we need to hear Jim on this too. Uh, you want me to count down? Yeah. But he's doing. It. But I'm holding my breath. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, well, somebody has to count down. Somebody that we trust has to count down. <laughs> What do you mean? It doesn't count that. Do you want to go message V and bring V in here? No, no, God, no. I, I, how about this? I, I will trust you, Gator. How about? I, 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 I don't know about you, but. <laughs> All right, I will count you guys down. Okay. Okay. All right. Three, two, one, <sighs> go. Four, five, <laughs> six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, eighty-eight, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three. 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75 cent help, 76, 77, 78, 
79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 14, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 5, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, 110, 111, 112, 113, 114, 115, 116, 117, 118, 119, 120, 121, 122, 123, 124, 125, 126, 127, 128, 129, 130, 131, 132, 133, 134, 135, Fuck all this! Fuck all this! <laughs> Are we still going? I, I was going to do a world record. Ralph, did you You're quit? You're full of shit. Yeah, me and you both know you <laughs> weren't I'm fucking done. holding your breath. No, the whole time. Let's do it a third time. No, Come on, Connor. Stop not, not, are you lying? <laughs> <laughs> there is no way you were holding your breath the whole time. No, yeah. I, I was doing some calisthenics while holding my breath. I like to stay fit. <laughs> I bet you were. <sighs> I mean, I'm down, but uh, no. <laughs> there's no way. <laughs> You're down for a third time? <laughs> okay. Stop it. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I need Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think we just, I think. <laughs> I think, I think the, the chat's going to gas itself if we do that again. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> I actually think that was so, pretty entertaining, to be honest with you. Uh, uh, the chat. Did not find it entertaining at all. We'll have to save it. We'll have to save <laughs> the rematch for another day. Well, look, we'll just be like JF. Who gives a fuck what the chat thinks? Like, we just do what I, I we do. want, I right? Like, like, I like nah, the chat. Nah, nah, we're That's just like great. JF. Who gives a no. fuck? Like, nah, nah, fuck that. No. Nope. Disagree. Oh, okay. I respectfully sorry. disagree. Oh, sorry. <laughs> maybe, so, who do we have lined up for the show on Monday, Ralph? I don't know. Richard Spencer. That was actually the guest. Cool. Richard Spencer. We'll have fun with that on Monday. Will we? I don't Definitely. know. Definitely. Yes, we'll, just... we, we, we'll get calls in. We'll have some fun. It'll be, you know. Well, you know what? I think we should have one more contest. People are let's trying to get, get me off the air quick as possible. No, 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 Ralph. Time. Let's one more contest. One more manly contest. Let's see who can stand on our head the longest. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you... <laughs> I was about to make a joke, but it's, it's so funny because I'm sitting there thinking about jokes, and so many people will take it seriously. Like I don't even know if I'm make a joke. It's like uh, I'll just be like Sargon, and be like, "Well, just show up, just show up and see me in person, Jim. Why, why don't you show up and stand on your head in person?" <laughs> <laughs> like, like that, that was the first thing that popped in my mind. I was like, "Okay, well, just just show up and stand on your head in person. <laughs> no big deal." You're supposed to be an intellectual leader. <laughs> why don't you play me an arc, fucker? You're obviously a coward. Why don't you? Why don't you fire that up? Say it. Say it to my wife's dinosaurs' faces. <laughs> You're such a uh, badass. Why don't you fire your steam up? Uh, I gotta say, earlier on, uh, Jay Dryer, uh, Dyer, Dryer, uh, yeah, did a yeah. dead-on impersonation of Peterson. That wow. was fucking. That was really. That was It really was incredible. <laughs> that was just that was a fucking dead ringer. What do you think about uh and and I think Zidane mentioned it as well. Like, do you think maybe if 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 uh, Andy had given it a little more time, like I actually think uh Jay Dyer is pretty fucking hilarious to be honest with you. Yeah, um, actually doing this stuff. I, I don't know. I, I'm not sure. I I, I, I I don't know. Like you know, I I haven't really watched Worski uh, in a while, so I don't know how well they mashed. I I think I watched part of the first episode, but beyond that, not really. I, was it good? Did they play off each other or no? Well, I mean, here and there they did. I guess some yeah, of the episodes but, sucked, to be honest, but yeah, some were good. Um, I think they needed more time to work it out. So, so guess, how about guess, this? Let me play uh, devil's advocate while I'm drunk as a skunk. Um. And they say, Jim, this was all a, uh, this was a, you know, a supreme 24-hour op from Jim, and 
he got involved with Kumite, he got involved with Worski, and and he just played these people as their puppet masters. Uh, as his, <laughs> whatever, I'm drunk. As his puppet master, uh, what do you say to that? Like, um, it was just a game to you, and and it was just all a joke, and you just try I, to play. I I like watching the streams because I find them. <laughs> I found him entertaining. There's really no puppet mastery involved. I mean, but yeah, and that's kind of what I always said. Like you were kind of always up front. Like I'm laughing at this, or like I'm having fun with this. It wasn't like, oh, this is serious business, and not, you know. Um, yeah, I, I like the streams because I found him entertaining, and I like the streams also, especially because uh, it seemed to piss off certain liberalists. <laughs> like so, I found that amusing as shit. So like all in all, I mean, I, I enjoyed it for. A good two, three months, uh, but then a ton of fucking infighting hit, and it just kind of all went to shit. Yeah. Um. yeah, I wish everybody involved had just like hashed things out in private, like Andy and Jay did. Like that's how you're supposed to handle this shit. I mean, it's not as much entertaining when you're not spurging out at each other, but uh... Uh, people saying you puppet mastered Andy to do some shit though for laughs. I, I, you know, the Hasbro thing uh, was a gag a bit, I guess. Uh, it was funny because people in chat did that. That wasn't really me doing anything. It was just people started tweeting about Andy Worski going down to blow up Hasbro. <laughs> uh, and the other thing was Andy calling up the SPLC to see if he was banned in Israel. Or uh, the trademarking liberalist thing. Uh, you know, it was kind of it's fun joke, bullshit right? stuff. Like, yeah. I don't, I don't, and, I don't, yeah. And to be honest, he Andy says those were his best moments. And they were. <laughs> they were fucking hilarious. So I mean, you can't really take that and say that he didn't want to do it, but he he always uses it as an example of like what he wants his show to be, and that's what he wants to do. But again, it, it kind of a man- comedy variety hour sort of you deal. Can't manufacture that stuff. It just happens or it doesn't happen. It's just off the cuff. Yeah, I was gonna say like, look, like tonight was <laughs> like we have our topics at the bottom, and we almost didn't even get to like any of them. Yeah. Yeah, I, I suppose, but I, I'm gonna jump. It's getting late, and uh, I've got yep. Fortnite on the Switch to play. Obviously, oh, awesome. so I'm, gonna, oh, I'm gonna go do. I'm gonna go do that. You know, I got I cucked that. by Sony, so I can't play it on the Switch. <laughs> yeah, because they're they're being cunts about crossplay. It's good old Sony. Fuck everyone. Not even crossplay, cross save. You can't even bring your shit over. No, that's always nice. That's always well. I don't know why you'd go from a PS4 to a Switch to play fucking Fortnite, but you know, I, to each. Because maybe all, I want to go play to. Fortnite on the shitter. You know, Bing Bing Wahoo, Victory Royale. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> you sh- I don't know. <laughs> wait, 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 Jim. <laughs> yeah. Before you go, mm-hmm. what about the um, things you were shooting about earlier? I-, I can't even get into it. Gator. Could maybe explain it. Um, oh, we talked the SCP stuff. We talked about it already. Yeah, okay. the SCP stuff. We talked about it. Okay, I'm really. TLDR. They're adding five new letters to LGBT. And they're <laughs> they're SCP TIA FTW. I think that's more than five letters, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that's the joke. Oh All right. boy. All right, oh, I, I will okay. let you go on that note. Thank you, sir. <laughs> yeah, take it easy, guys. Have a Later, good one. Jim.